Before we can even be done with Moon Knight or Doctor Strange, we got Kenobi popping up again all to me. Hello. Hi. You can't escape yet. There is no escape, actually. You just have to watch all this quality. Seems kind of weird to me that uh, they wouldn't space them out a bit more. The shows and all the content, yeah. I guess if you're just constantly pumping them out, you don't even have to. If they're all making money and all being successful, you just keep that shit rolling. But at the same time, you don't want them uh, overlapping too much, right? Because you'll draw audiences away. Because like, I don't think many people are even talking about the Moon Knight finale compared to Doctor Strange 2. Hmm. That isn't that one. The timing of that is interesting because you're right. It like it it ends right when that film starts. Essentially, they did this with Mando and the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, they, they released did. the penultimate episode, I think, a day before Rise of Skywalker. With that, yes, yeah, so you kind of had those. Yeah, had the force healing there. Yeah, yeah, it had the force healing in it. So <laughs> force healing. It totally. It's like this guy. We didn't just make it up for the movie. We made it. That's up the thing, though. Is that was said a day before? That to me seems like the reason, as opposed to whatever's going on here, where it just seems like a bat and pass. But like, I don't know why they would do it that way instead of you know. Imagine Moon Knight finished it the week prior. We would have had you know people just talking about that for a little bit, even if because it, it would peter out pretty quickly. That's fine. But now I think a lot of people aren't even gonna. Talk about it uh, for that long or anything. Probably else. not. Probably um, the end of the show's uh, relevance, I guess. Right? It's it's out, so it's achieved its its purpose of uh, being content on Disney Plus. Which is funny because we'll be talking about it a week after Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Which um is probably good in terms of how fucking long it'll take me to be able to rewatch and figure out structure for talking about Moon Knight because it's such a yeah bleh. yeah yeah <laughs> um but yeah hello good old EFAP chat um updates the, the new Kenobi trailer is out oh get I'm excited. So excited um and out of the three of us Fringy has unfortunately seen Doctor Strange too. Mm -hmm. um, oh. We have not, though, myself and Rags, uh, but we are, of course, anticipating. I can't say we're excited. I need lie. to see this by what day? Saturday? It's a third day, yes. I'm seeing it mm. tomorrow. Uh, I might, yeah, I'll probably buy tickets during the CFAP and make sure I get. Uh... It's going to be great. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Well, There's no Doctor knows. Strange coverage. Look, from what I'm gathering, there should be some funny shit from covering it. Um, yeah. Are <laughs> oh, people asking what I think? I guess we can table that for, uh, until Saturday, I suppose. Uh, certainly a detailed take, I suppose, if you wanted to be nice and vague. Uh, oh. Because, um, right. I mean, is it a spoiler to say that it's mostly what you expected it to be? Uh, no, I guess not. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's bad. Um, the nature of how bad it is, though, or, like, what aspects of it are, you know, worth commending, it's like, I'm sure that will become clearer with more time as I think about it, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh Well There you go everyone. I'm sorry. Awesome. Doesn't even sound like it was fun bad. Would you recommend um, it? I I I don't know. Like I don't know cuz I I don't know what I don't know people some people seem to like it. <laughs> like I, I don't know. The, the, the thing is, is that when it comes to people talking about the film, it feels like so little of the conversation is about the story. It's all talking about just the more meta stuff to do with, like, Sam Raimi's the director, and, you know, it's got shots, oh, look, it's a little unconventional by Marvel standards. Like, that seems to be what's dominating the discussion. Like, I'm not really seeing anybody be like, well, you know, how about the plot, though? Like, 
So well, I, I give it a bit of time, have... maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Well, maybe. I, I guess I am curious to see what broad reactions will be to certain things that happen in that. That how many people are actually going to be happy with that movie? I guess, but that's that's more. You know, we'll talk about the film itself on the weekend. Gonna be fun. Well, I guess until then, yeah, we got we got some a new entry from Star Wars, an update, if you will, a patch. Uh, mm -hmm. For the universe, because uh, yeah, it's Obi Wan Kenobi official trailer Disney Plus. Uh, that's that's what the video is called, and then another oh, a line, and then video essay, because that's what you need on there to make it sound important. Um, so whoever yeah. hasn't joined us, rags. Uh, I kind of my brain my it's weird my arm is like moving the mouse, but then my brain is. Okay, I got it. You uh, expend my, my that effort. Preservation instincts of my brain were. Oh God, it's Big Buck Bunny. He's so big. Oh God. Okay. Now, for some reason, cool. Disney is the only one that doesn't really give a shit if you live stream their trailers. Nice. Um. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to go pause mode or watch and then go back and do pause mode? What did we do the mode. first time? Did yeah. we watch it all and then go back, or...? Wait, sorry, what was the vote? <laughs> what I... did we do last time? I don't remember. Did we watch it in full and then go back through it? I, I think, think we, we watched it in full. Yeah. I... We could... Yeah, we can do it in full. That's fine. Alright, everybody. Watching, the problem, watching it. Go back and, yeah, then we'll do that, I think. Get ready, because I'm still waiting for when they're gonna mention Vader. Not that I We're want them to. See Vader. Oh, well, yeah, I expect them to do the, the end of trailer thing, right? Where it's like... Mm -hmm. And then yeah. his breath. That would be the way to do it. Oh. Here's the spaceship. Oh my goodness, the city. Stormtrooper. Oh, they, they gave him their, hel their little holsters back. Stay oh, hidden. fuck. <laughs> oh, we will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho. You still want Kenobi. He's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want so if you haven't found him, of course you've been the bounty hunter to squeeze him. This guy's blue shirt. You can't win all we want! Don't kill this guy. You can't escape him! Oh. I will find him! of anything at all really yeah that was more of a talking that felt like that more of a more teaser like a, than a trailer yeah because i i don't know yeah. what the like I, I it's not clear to me what the uh i guess the broad strokes of the story are gonna be they're looking for kenobi other than, <laughs> yeah other than that <laughs> huh okay yeah i'm not i'm not sure what to do with that really it's just a bunch of shots and that you know it's like Look, we're on different planets yeah. and ships and stuff. You can't escape him. Yeah, that's you pretty funny. You can't escape him. No, you can't. I just don't know. Uh, I'm already getting vibes of like, why are you even in the story, lady? Well, because she's inquisitor, right? Is that what she's meant to be? Well, a lot of them are, isn't it? But like... Yeah. Well, I yeah. guess it will be like, what is your investment in Kenobi specifically? A character that I've never seen before. Like, why do you dislike him so much? I suppose they'll give us all of that. It's gonna be great, but I don't know. I just and I like, by the way, that we just can't have a lot of stuff happening on Tatooine. So that's not that's gonna fuck up a New Hope completely. So we gotta it just can't get him somewhere time. else, and then we can have loads of action. Yeah. Even though they do be... arrive on Tatooine, which is already just like, damn, dude. Mm, I know. Maybe that's supposed to be end of season stuff. 
I picture it's, oh, it I might even be know. first episode. Uh, my... Because, like, they keep showing us this city place and, uh, and Tatooine, yeah. so I'm assuming this is within the first two episodes, maybe even one. Yeah, I certainly think they're going to blow their load in the first episode and really try and pull this, you in. This will definitely happen in the first episode, what we're looking at here. Absolutely, that'll be the first episode. I'm guessing they got a lead, and then they'll be mean to people in Tatooine, and then Kenobi's like, I gotta leave Tatooine, because I'll take the trail off Tatooine or something. Come on. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Also, Joel Edgerton's been given, like, a fake nose or something to look more like uh, Owen Laws from A New Hope, I think, as well as he's changed his voice for it. Oh. Hmm. Big nose, big nose. Leave it. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, usually quite right. look like that. Yeah. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? Yeah. I mean... Are we, who knows? I mean, like, how how are these two? How much are these two characters going to be talking and interacting during this season? I get concerned that it won't be enough. It's kind um, of funny, right? Because it's like, oh yeah, this is an actual opportunity to be able to get to know the guy who raised Luke Skywalker personally, but we're probably not going to get to know him very well. Well, because how can we keep him around while maintaining our quota of like one to two action scenes per episode? Action scenes, yeah. And our, we, we, have a, we actually have a, a, a negative quota on character moments where they talk to each other meaningfully, so we have to make sure we don't ever have those. Mm. Um, also, what does he know about all of it? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Jedi and everything. Because yeah. from his POV, he's aware of the shit that happened in Attack of the Clones, which is that Anakin's mom was like killed by... Tuscan Raiders, and then he went nuts and killed them. I'm not sure if he even knew about that. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't even know if he knew about that. So then he's kind of just out of the loop, and then... You know, maybe maybe, maybe Obi-Wan told him. Like, when he turned up, he was like, Oh my god, you'll never guess what happened. This whole thing. Maybe. Crazy. Yeah, yeah about the, the Jedi Temple, and who, who knows what he told these two when he dropped the baby off. And, like... I don't know, it's just weird that the framing here is that, uh... When you train someone, they're going to become good or bad, and it's like, well, that's just a thing that happens anyway. Uh, like, the implication uh, being the training is what made Vader evil. No, like, that's a debate. When it should be, have. he's like, no, he was, he was seduced by this evil guy, and for some reason, none of us saw it coming. Look, it was really complicated, and it probably won't ever happen again. It was, yes, it was a very strange time for just everyone in the galaxy, <laughs> all right? Um... So it wasn't the tr it wasn't the training, but um, yeah, I mean, I think it would be annoying if um, if Obi Wan doesn't have a response to that. I'm hoping this is just yeah, a trailer gotta... thing. Because I mean, like we do, all three of us do. It well, was, it wasn't his training. <laughs> first and foremost, fuck you know about it, Owen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, tell, you tell what is it? Imperial propaganda that they told you? Hmm. You watching too much TV there? Hmm. Ah. Watching too much, uh, ENN. You still want Kenobi. I guess, yeah. He's gone. He's gone. This is their, they, this is the three people going to check their own They have so again. much money. <laughs> yeah. They even make the, the, map, 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 sound. Which is the probe droid. They send them everywhere? That's actually more adhering to canon than fucking the sequel trilogy yeah. could. Yeah. So congratulations <laughs> on that. See that? I have a feeling we're only going to see that once the rooftops of that city place, but we've seen a lot of it in the promotion in the of this trailer, show. Yeah. Again, presumably we're seeing... Opening. Yeah, like we're, we're really dealing with probably very little the season in the trailers, kind of like how they did with Boba Fett. Squeeze Thank you for saying low life and bounty hunter, because bounty hunters don't have to be low lives. It's good to make that distinction. Good True. On you. And and Kenobi's gonna have a, probably a whole fucking action scene of beating up bounty hunters. Does he have his lightsaber or is he just not? Well, I guess maybe the lightsaber draws a lot of attention, right? If you have a lightsaber, it means you're a Jedi, probably. Well, so. I mean, they. I'm assuming they're going after him because they know he's Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, but I maybe. guess maybe it I could. Know, who knows why? Maybe he's in place. 
He's he's trying to access archives, old Obi Wan. He loves doing that. And, and but this place, you're not allowed to do that. So he's he has to be secret agent Obi Wan Kenobi. It sounds like a better show. God, this lady's gonna get. Look at her lightsaber out. She is boy. She's got that lightsaber out. I mean, all I can say is I hope she gets a character, but that'd be nice. I don't know if we're gonna get one. Whoever this is. You can't win, Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new robot it's a toy. No crash, Skype web. I don't know. Why don't you just pull, just pull the ship of the force? Ray could do it. Well. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. That's the. This must be their base. Such a goofy looking inquisitor, that uh, guy with a hat. Yeah. Yeah, that, they that look looks so cool. strange. <laughs> they all look so, so even the officer guy is just like, look at him. Like, he looks uncomfortable. Oh, he looks, looks like very he uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like his neck is like, I don't know what, I don't know if it's like a perspective thing or like, it just looks like he doesn't have a neck while he's wearing that suit. Oh man. Those stormtroopers back there seem fake. They might be. Yeah, there's your tease. Yeah. Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Two fights. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard. Oh boy, two, man. <laughs> Is it weird that like I'm I'm more scared of the dialogue? Ugh. I'm always scared of the dialogue. I think that's a um it's been like a it's it's something that's just been kind of apparent. It's like the dialogue has just gotten really weak lately in a lot of these big budget sort of projects. I don't know what it is. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what I meant to pull from that trailer, really. Yeah. Well, it's not long now. What is it? Like, three weeks? Yeah. <sighs> Which... I mean, fuck, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, what can you say? We're all so, already so deflated, and we haven't even seen it. How exciting! I mean, well, okay. Boba Fett, you know, great. it's long gone now. It's in the rearview mirror. You know, we need more. More Star Wars. This one will certainly have more of a budget behind it, but I... Uh, and the expectation I, I of quality? Know. Like, I think a lot of people wrote yeah, right. off Boba Fett as being like, yeah, whatever, it's like a fucking sideshow. There is definitely more of a... Uh, there is definitely a higher expectation of quality. I guess it's the thing... That, this one makes me nervous because it's like, now we're delving into an era that has kind of not been plundered yet um but it's like man this is the first foray into like really leaning into i guess prequel era material that was kind of tossed to the wayside obi-wan kind of comes out of the sequel trilogy nothing changes now it's like well who knows right this and this could be so you always run a risk when doing prequels you know like there's always the chance that you're going to recontextualize something in a way that is um detrimental or change a perspective on a character but not in a way that works um it's just you got to be careful and i guess that's the question is how careful are they gonna be um you know well doesn't this sit directly in between post prequel and pre ot yeah like pr pretty much halfway right it's 10 years after revenge of the sith so actually it's a little bit closer which is funny because uh, that means AT. when you look at you mcgregor you're supposed to believe that in nine years he's gonna look like alec guinness and a new yeah. hope. It's like, damn. All right. Well, <laughs> like, yeah, it's like it's rough on tattooing. Okay. Yeah, the sun. Yeah. Maybe he force aged himself so he'd look different. Ooh, <laughs> great little storyline. Yeah. That could be yeah. really cool. But, um, that'd be really fun. Yeah, something I didn't necessarily think could be a problem, but like, uh, Ben Kenobi is pretty like if you watch a new hope he's pretty damn confident and concluded in terms of his perspective on the force and right, so. and, and shit and like i don't want to see him in this show being all like meek and yeah maybe i was wrong about like everything i don't know i guess if you conclude it with him being confident i suppose that could work but i don't know i just get bored of seeing my protagonists and these things be crappy well just Give give them challenges that aren't as simple as you know what I don't believe in it anymore. Why don't you give him the challenge of um, I don't know. He has to make. Is he forced to make compromises in order to ensure Luke's safety, or will he? You know, 
essentially what is he willing to do to ensure the survival of the Jedi? Does that mean that he's willing to breach the Jedi code in order to ensure its long term survival? That feels like the or are we even doing any of that? Is it literally just going to be he's running and he talks a bit about the past here and there? Well, I mean, I guess that's the question is when this project was made, did the idea come before the project or was the project before the idea, you know? Was it, hey, we want to make an Obi-Wan show, figure out ideas for a story, or was it, oh, I haven't, hmm, here's a thought. We haven't explored this era and we could do something with Obi-Wan. Let's make a show about it. I get the impression it was not that it was the project was greenlit before the story existed. And so it's that doesn't preclude it from being good. I guess it's just a matter of... This is the thing. And... A lot of what we're saying here is just like, man, pessimistic. And it's like, yeah, why wouldn't we be? I don't, I don't <laughs> know that I'd be given much reason to be optimistic about the state of Star Wars, you know. <laughs> it was planned since 2016. Was that like the first inkling of this idea wasn't that when they wanted to make the film right they were back when they were doing a star wars story stuff it was going to be oh Kenobi, that you know, makes sense yeah and then, uh, and then they turned it into a show but i mean as for the people who've involved in it i would imagine that the people who are involved in the show now were like not the same people who they were going to have originally to you know make the film right because it's one of the directors of mando as the showrunner um so it probably was spawned off of mando because of that show's success. We have so much that we just owe so much to Mando. We do uh, owe so much to Mando. Mando has defined, um, seemingly at this stage, the how we're going forward with Star Wars content. Because as far as, I think as far as Disney is concerned, right, Mando is a tremendous success. Um, no, I'm not saying thanks for that, by the way. And I'm directing that at chat. I'm sure you guys didn't really watch it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> like, I'm directing it at maybe some other people. I don't know. Find the world, maybe. I guess. Wow. Yeah. Right. It's um. I don't know. It's the these shows are super successful. It's, it's just people love them. Think about. They do. Well, it's yeah. funny to think about how, like, you know, John Favreau. It's like, thanks, man. You'd, Especially in the wake of that Lion King YMS where he was like, yeah, thanks, buddy. You're like, you do such a great job. I'm super happy with what you're up to. Coming up on JJ. Like, I hate you, John. Of, well, I guess it's, yeah, because they're both kind of similar in that they're, I don't know, they're able to make stuff that makes a lot of money, but I guess it's, I guess it's complicated, right? Because it seems like John Favreau's, no, well, JJ did it too, right? Leveraging nostalgia for stuff that was really good. Yeah, he then, doesn't understand what made the original great, and it's just playing off of mm -hmm. these superficial elements, and even then he fucks it up. Yeah. I uh, don't like it. And there's a, there is a legion of YouTubers who are ready to defend anything Disney does. Well, remember, there was well, a I bit guess... of unification on how Boba Fett was shit right up until the Mando episode, and then everyone goomed, and it was like, oh no, but it's really bad it's still. Arguably, but it's then, the worst thing because it ruins Luke again. But even then, I think uh, that sentiment eventually like evaporates when the next thing comes around. And I mean, there's something to be said. I remember I had this thought when I looked at like coverage of video games, right? Like, if you're a Call of Duty YouTuber, I don't really expect you to have super critical things to say about Call of Duty because your career kind of depends on the success of that franchise. It's kind yeah. of the same here, right? If you're like a Star Wars channel, you know, your channel relies on if Star Wars is doing well, you're doing well. Like, it's obviously going to influence your perspective. Like, no way, man. The Naboo be... Starfighter was the perfect ship for Mando. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the worst. It's, ab it's, it, I don't know Thanks, that you could have picked the worst choice. Yeah, like, an X Wing would have been better. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, for us, uh, Star Wars being great or terrible, or neutral even, doesn't really change. Uh, the health of our channel. It just, just yeah, it'll you know. be a okay. We've even highlighted things that we like in these things sometimes here and there. Was there anything we liked in the Boba Fett show? Uh, uh I can't remember. Let me see. Was there? Um, I think we the first Mando uh, episode we said was probably the best episode of the season. 
The gun train. Yeah, I, that was pretty amazing. The gun train was fun. Meaningful. Fun gun train. Those. That's always cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I legit don't know what the best. It, I don't know if I enjoyed anything. I like. I enjoyed laughing at it with my friends, but yeah, that was. Oh, the... I like the dead Tuskins. That's right, chat. <laughs> that was an exciting. Like, Fulfilling moment, I remember, yeah. I couldn't help but think about all the innocent people that would be spared the torture and slavery that would have been upon them had they lived. To be fair, thank fuck the bikers were murdered when we knew full well <laughs> it was them that did it. Yes. You I like love how... how when he learns that, there's absolutely no like a moment where he's like, oh shit. In retrospect, like, they probably showed us people. the bikers attacking that place so the in case anyone was like, man, you killed them for something they didn't even do. It's like, they were evil anyway. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. That's what it means. It's like, oh, this is awkward. Because they never even have him deal with it. It's fucking great. It's such a bad show. Uh, you see, Boba Fett has uh, come such a long way. Because this is the thing. Yeah. Classic Boba Fett, I believe, probably would have wiped them out. Found out they were innocent and been like... Well, mm. fuck it. Uh, you know, it's done now. Uh, yeah, you can't focus on the past and stuff like that. But new Boba Fett should have been crying. Should have been so upset. Should have been like, oh no, precious life has been taken. I'm putting up my armor for good. I'll never touch another blaster again. <laughs> I am a good man, dammit. Can't be doing this. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, so that's kind of funny. Then we got... We gotta deal with Doctor Strange, I gotta deal with that tomorrow. And then Saturday, of course. Following week we're gonna have a we gotta look back through Moon Knight. And then that the following week we'll be I think charging up for a good old Kenobi, huh? Oh uh, wait, have we got Halo the following week? Halo, right? Fuck me. Yeah, uh, after. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a, calm down universe, you know? Yeah, can we just, like, hit the brakes on all this, please, just for a little bit? Didn't I say after Arcane, like, oh god, we've got so much bad shit to have to pay for now? Because, like, when we get one good thing, the universe is, especially these days, is like, oh yeah, you better enjoy that good thing. Like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Yeah, a little bit. What year did, uh, Bly come out? Was that 2020? 2020, I think. Yeah. So... We've been paying for that. I was going to say, that, that <laughs> wasn't the year of The Rise of Skywalker, at least. It wasn't the year of a decent amount of stuff, because a lot of stuff got delayed. What were the movies of 2020? Uh... Hmm. I'm not good with dates. I'm not, like, fringy. Yeah, it helps yeah, out for me. 2020, I remember Sonic, came, Sonic 1 came out. Uh, I think Birds of Prey came out in 2020. Um, oh, what else? Uh, 1917 came out like 2020, 2019, 2020. So that was good. I think it was 2019 at the end. Yeah, like at the end of 2019. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, what was it? Bly was Bly actually 2019? It might have been. No, it was 2020. Uh, Yes, it was, yeah. Because I was just thinking, 2021 then was Midnight Mass, and 2022 is going to be yeah, House of Usher, right. right? Oh, Tenant came out in 2020, but I didn't see it, so... Chat, yeah, how do we feel about Tenant? What was the was the general consensus on that? Did anyone even see it in chat? I don't know. Does anyone remember it? Did oh, anyone... I never the Boys saw it. Season 2 came out in 2020. Oh, that was a thing. Wow, Season 3 is coming out soon, right? Wait, season one of what, sorry? The Boys season two was 2020. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Underwater came out in 2020. <laughs> was, mm. That was fun. I, I, liked, like I liked it. Man, did we I not get Underwater. punished as harshly as I thought in 2020? Well, remember, a lot of stuff got delayed. Black Widow would have come out in 2020, so... Hmm. Oh, Wonder Woman 1984 was 2020. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What a mess. Okay, I'm offended. Because, <laughs> yeah, I guess I put in movies of 2020, and I didn't see it in the list at all. And I realized there was two mm. lists I was shown. 
The second one being top picks for you, in which Wonder Woman 1984 is in there. Uh, top picks for me, favorites. huh? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. the top picks for me have all the movies we were mentioning. The the, the there's a praise in there. <laughs> Why is that a top yes. pick for me? Um. Uh, oh, because the Mall Combat movie relatively... come out then, or oh, Mall Combat okay. Legends. I don't know what that is. Animated, I guess. Well. Well, uh, that's, you know, that's all right. Oh, Extraction. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, that was fun. That was a neat Maybe 2020 wasn't thing. that bad. Maybe not. Maybe we got a little reprieve that year. The film gods looked down upon us and said, they've suffered enough. They can have a break. They can have a break. You can have some good, you can have some good ones. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just, uh... We'll have to pay for, for getting a couple nice things now. 2019 was better though. Yeah, 2019 had more good films, but I, didn't 2019 have a lot of bad films as well? Um, it didn't I just feel like it always films. has bad films. Like all the years seem to have bad films. You just you just count the hits and ignore the misses at this point. Well, I mean, it, it's, I couldn't even find that many bad ones for 2020 from just standard lists. Bloodshot mm. was 2020. Did you guys see that? Terrible. Blood. Vin Diesel trying to be a Marvel superhero, or like. Why don't I, Why don't I even remember that? I watched it I with the got, Smiler. Uh, it was embarrassing. I think that film got put on like streaming or VOD because it came out like around when COVID started, so it kind of just came and went. It was much more normal kind of bad that movie. Right. Still terrible, but you know. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, okay. Um, okay. Kenobi. You know, make it that what you will, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we started off with Kenobi to completely deflate all of our enthusiasm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, well, something we can talk about, because I actually showed Fringing it, because I thought it was so almost sad, I guess, but also funny. Did you, have you seen the newest uh, Red Letter Media Star Trek video? I have, yeah. So they're like, the moment they... Basically just talk about how they don't even want to watch old Star Trek anymore. Because, um... It's just so... tarnished. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Can't help but feel bad. they still got the one episode left to do, but they said they were not even going to check out the third season, which I would have thought they might, because... You want to you wanna see what they do? You want to see how they butcher the new... Uh, the old characters? Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, it, it felt like an addendum on their their classic. How does it feel to watch all your favorite franchises burn? They were, they were just talking about how does it feel to become like, disinterested yeah, okay. in the stuff that got you here. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway, now that we're all excited and high energy. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, check out the. Uh, Hassan streams. We we didn't the first two, not the the latter one. We uh we had to save those super chats. They're both very long streams. Um, so that's the one I'm going to start on today. And then once we do that, we'll uh we'll do today's, and that'll be uh that'll be a fun stream. Started off obviously with with the the fun of Kenobi, uh, as Rags pointed out, being a great primer to getting us. All ready and excited. Maybe a double dash will make me feel better. How about that? Oh Maybe. yeah, it might. Maybe playing double dash will lull you out of your whatever it is. Your 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 malaise, your depressive malaise. I don't know. We just we got the the fact that we just realized we got to go through Kenobi, Doctor Strange two, Halo, and wait, was there a fourth thing? Um. I don't think so. Oh yeah, that, Moon Knight. I think we get a bit of a, a, bit of a reprieve afterward. Wait, well, do we? Actually. Well, the fourth thing was Moon Knight, but like the as for a reprieve, I mean, you just mean like a lack of new terrible things. Well, I think there's still stuff. Well, because Obi Wan will be coming out, right? Like by the time we're done with uh, Halo, by the time we're done with like, Halo, it'll be episodes will be coming out for that. Uh, for uh, yeah. Yay. 
That's another like, thing. The discussion on Halo is probably going to get dwarfed by all this other stuff, too. Well, apparently, uh, Halo is a tremendous success for Paramount. Like, apparently their uh, subscriber count has it's gone up a lot um, in correlation with that show. Well. But, I mean, I guess it's a matter of, like, I do wonder, like, long-term... I don't know. I, I guess I'm not I'm not sure. Um, feels like Halo isn't that relevant to discussion, which is, um, yeah, how, oh man, Halo used to be like a big deal. <laughs> it used to be a huge deal. Uh, but, it still uh, is, lads. Everyone loves this oh, show. New, new season of uh, Halo Infinite. I need to actually yeah, check that I out. Yeah, I heard, I heard some things about the new season. I, I, well, um, and also I checked the play account, so, um, yeah, so the new season is out and the play account wow oh my god what? um it, it went up for like a day to twenty thousand, and now it's back down again to what um, wow well right now there's eleven thousand people playing after the new season so um i think it's safe to say that there's probably no resuscitating this game um i because i mean it's going to be the same problem again because it's six months until the next season starts um, Six this months. Season adds, yeah, November. So by the next, by a year after it's come out, it will have received two maps. Halo 3 had received six by the time uh, the first year was over. Of course, you had to pay for those, but you have to pay for the battle pass if you want to unlock a bunch of the cosmetics, and they probably made a bunch of money from that. What is the live service of this live service game, you know? Like, what, what, what are you getting in exchange for all of these compromises to just progression and... Um, customization you know what are you getting it's like a very small amount of content campaign call in august the beta for forge begins in like november or october beta the beta for forge yeah i i had told someone and i i think i've been pretty firm i but i i said i don't think that there's a way to get people back into halo infinite i think that you got so many people in, which is great, but that also means a lot of people saw how, like, bare bones it was. Yeah. They and so, you, yeah. you they know. left with non-hopeful attitudes, I think. Well, it's just, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do to bring those people back? It's like, well, you need more than two maps in six months. It's just the reality of it. Um, it's just not enough content. Yeah, maybe... Uh, especially Maybe the reality isn't that it can't be resuscitated, it's that not with the people in charge, because they clearly don't know what the fuck they need to do to resuscitate this game. Yeah, um, I think that's part of yeah. it. Well, that, or just, I don't know, whatever the issues are with the game, that it's... Because, I mean, games obviously take longer to make than they used to. Um, it's just going to be a matter of... The problem is that, I don't know, there's just not enough. Like, there's, there's no getting around that, and it's like, well devs are working really hard we're making sure that we're not doing any crunch it's like that's great still not it's great content, no. though. yeah and you but i don't i don't pay you to not that. crunch well no no like, it's, it's good it's, really that. But... It's, it's more so that um i don't think that players are receptive to that you know like it's not you can't really go around and tell everybody well yeah but we're making sure that we're not overworked it's like that we can that's tell great. like seriously that's that's fine um it's not enough content though well, it's got and nothing to do with explaining to us why we have to deal with this shit instead of something more yeah i don't know like um, it would just be compared if other games can come out with complete content also not under crunch then now what well i mean that game clearly had a bad development that's that's all that there is to it um i i don't know something went wrong because it's just so many so many like features are just missing um and there's problems like the desync issues, hit, like with hit detection. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of basic problems, and it's just I don't know what happened. Like, uh, what what do you expect people to do? Like, give you as many chances? You've had so many chances. Like, this is your third major game. Every single one has had some major issue. Halo Four was like incredibly um, uh, imbalanced. Um, missing a lot of stuff at launch. Halo 5 was even worse in that regard. No big team battle at launch, no Forge at launch, but Forge came in December, which was already kind of a long time to wait, you know, back then. Um, the Rex system, uh, of course, the campaign, 
and now with Halo Infinite, it's like again, I don't know. You know, how many chances do you do you think you should have before like people just stop giving a shit? You know. Yeah. You've had so l I I I said on the the comments of one of Fringy's Cosmoronics that Zack Snyder is to DC what three four three is to Halo. Yeah, I, I understand that in a sense, right? It's like the amount of damage that's been done under three four three's tenure is um crazy. Because someone might say, well, Halo was kind of on the decline even when Bungie left. It's like, I don't know, man, like, Reach was a pretty tremendous success, um, both critically and you know, financially. Meanwhile, Halo 4 came out, and it did well when it came out, but then it dropped off the face of the Earth. And, like, this game was given its chance. Players came. Absolutely. Players enjoy. absolutely came. This was really big in the news for a small amount of time. I even played it. Well, it's because every other shooter was catastrophic, right? Battlefield 2042 was an absolute disaster. Yeah, it was. Uh, and even, even Vanguard apparently is, like, not good. It's not forming to expectations. The player count is dropped. It's like, you were set up and you squandered it. There's no, no other way around it. Man, just nothing but good news today. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. So anyway, I guess I'll start reading these. Yeah, sure. Um, first one is, I'm interested to know how many people watch EFAP that also consume Hassan's content. Basically, how many window lickers are watching right now? Um, Probably not that many. Feels like a different, very different culture. Uh, Brain, in fact, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the people who really like watching EFAP... Uh, Hassan would be annoyed with EFAP's format. They'd be like, what the fuck do you pause so much? Yeah. And we, we weeded those people out a long time ago. The weak, you know? Good news is that Smiling Friends Season 2 is being worked on? I'd hope so. Want more, Gib? Yep. Reminder, I got Muller to say the N-word in the last two minutes of his Last of Us 2 playthrough. Uh, I got you long, man. Also, high rags. Hello. I remember that. You sneaked it into a sentence. Um, I think I realized too late, but luckily I haven't been deleted from YouTube yet, so... Is that. Any moment. It happens to the best of us. Wings of Redemption, John Campia, me, you know? Look at that set of people. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um... Asan, the guy who could trip over a wireless controller. You can trip over a wireless oh, controller. I, like I mean, te yeah, I, I get it, but technically. I mean, you know. Let's trip over the controller, right? I understand the sentiment behind I that, do. but. Yeah. The sound is much stupider than that, though. I feel like that doesn't represent how stupid he is. Gotta go lower. We need to go further. Mm -hmm. Who has the better mum, Hassan or Chris Chan? Hassan. No, wait. Uh, Chris Chan's mom did nothing wrong, from what I've heard. That's <laughs> true, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'd vote for the Nuggy creator, though. The the Nuggus Queen. Mm -hmm. Just to let y'all know, when you point out to fans of Hassan what seems to be a fact at this point, that he's an idiot, they'll say, yeah, he's an idiot, he's an idiot, lol. As if that's somehow to defer any critique toward him. Um... Well, I mean, doesn't he ban the ones that say that? I'm surprised. He, he doesn't... They, they, maybe it's like a thing that they know amongst themselves. Like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, you know, but don't say it. Don't say it. Because the God King will strike you down. Someone sent a clip the other day, and I was, like, blown away by it. Um, he reads out a chatter that says something like, uh, you've kind of rushed into this topic, and you, um, don't understand the full context of what's being said. I can't remember what video he's looking at. It said, and as a result, there's a feedback loop of getting more and more angry at people who are getting more and more angry at you for blah, blah, blah. And he, like, you read it all out and went, yeah. And I was like, oh! <gasps> I was like, criticism, and he didn't even, like, explode. It must have had enough, maybe he was pacified by the amount of nuggies he had that day. Or maybe he's, like, glitching out. Then Maybe. Matrix is fucking up. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was, I was terrified. I didn't know what was happening. 
Um, Hassan is the kind of guy that stares at the microwave even if he's used it before and gets startled when it goes ding. Uh, yeah, I can believe that. I, I wouldn't even like blame him too hard. Or just, okay. Do you think... I, I know the... Um... Like he every time he goes to the bathroom and flushes the toilet, he's like, Where does but where does it go? He Googles it, reads it all the, the answer, and he still doesn't like get it. Like the poop is gone. Poop wizard. Hassan makes Jared Genesis look like Stephen Hawking. Jared could have been a contender. Yeah. It'd be funny to have them do an interview together, wouldn't it? See what they agree on. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they their personality personalities would clash in an extremely entertaining way. Oh my! Because Jared is, of course, as we all know, an alpha. He's told this many times. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I would like to see in an alternate universe. We've got an edgy boy here. I don't even know. They're asking rags for your thoughts on diggers that are numb. Diggers that are numb. Well, funny you should mention that. I was playing Deep Rock Galactic last night. Because Season two's out and there's a whole bunch of new stuff to do and fight and uh, unlock and stuff like there. Hey, there you go. Instead of going to Season 2 for Halo Infinite, go to Season 2 for Deep Rock Galactic. Where... The base game is a is full of a crap load of content. All kinds of new places, all kinds of types of missions, just brimming with unlockables. And then they release season two, and it's even more full, chucked to the brim with stuff to unlock. Uh, you should go and play that. And if you decide that you would like to support them with even more money, they have really good prices on big packs of weapons and skins you could you can spend like seven eight bucks and get all of these like like all of the weapons get their own uh unique look and you get stuff for your armor like it's or you could pay 20 bucks for white what a bargain so there is that that there is that there is that yeah i mean i, I never hear anything but recommendations for that game at this point it's legitimately amazing. I highly recommend playing Deep Rock Galactic. I've been, I've been playing it with my friends, and we just always enjoy ourselves. This one says Witchity Top Grubcock. Oh, that's cool. That's our Bush World Adventures reference. Oh. The world of Bush. There can be only one. If you were to create a piece of media with a story, what would the premise be in a few sentences? A piece of media with us. Why wouldn't you just say if you're going to make a story? A but, crusader I mean, and a Saracen must, even though they despise each other, join forces to defeat an ancient demon that has been awakened in the tombs beneath uh, the outskirts of Jerusalem in the deserts of the Holy Land. There, I just came up with one. That was one of our premises for a Predator movie. Yeah, because I because mean, I, I had the thoughts of that and a World War Two, an American and a Japanese soldier crash land. They are in a dogfight. They hit each other, crash land on a planet or it's planet. Well, they do crash <laughs> land on a planet. I was I I wasn't wrong. I'm just picturing <laughs> them in space. <laughs> like <laughs> it, it is World War. It is World is World War seventy six. <laughs> yeah, and they're out in space, but they crash land on um. A uh, on the like some some little island in the middle of nowhere in the Pacific, and a, a, a predator has been dispatched to fight them, and they must join forces to to, to fight it. Um, so I, I think those those would be really cool. Getting to you know science yeah. to yeah. Um, plus you'd have the language barrier there, so you'd have to you know like write Darmok. the characters. But, yeah, that's right, like Darmok. That's very true. Good job, Mike. Uh, I I don't know the the off the top of my head. like because like I don't even know what I would pick to be honest with you in terms of if I could have any genre like hmm maybe it would depend on my constraints fun. like budget and access to locations and actors and stuff hard to say.
Maybe I'd make an MCU. Mola Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Mola Cinematic Universe? I'd like that. What isn't that what isn't that just our lives is another yeah, day in the Mahler <laughs> cinematic universe? It's uh, I mean, weirdly enough, that's how it feels from my POV. But I could see how it would be the RCU and the FCU from uh, you guys' perspectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I, it would be fun to do like a. Because it sounds it sounds so like what? Why would you want to do that? But um, like a superhero -y thing, but to try and go refreshing while also be uh, commenting on, on, on this, that, and the other. Wouldn't it be neat to make like a superhero story where the main character is like a good person who does things because they're a good person and that's as simple as it is and then you have other yeah. characters in the story including human normal people who are just like don't believe them and assume it's got to be a nihilistic or cynical motivation behind it. Be it money or power. Like, it can never be that you're just nice. Fucked up. And then that can be sort of an introspective moment for them. It's like, huh, why did I assume the worst in that person? Well, you could have it so that there's plenty of other heroes who are those things, right? And then that yeah. one nice one is just never... Nobody ever believes it quite. Such a plot could never work. I know, yeah. Sorry. What about you, Fringy? Is there anything gooish or...? Uh, no, nothing Jewish. Well, so, what was it again? A premise, like, for a story that you would tell and... Yeah, pretty much you're just given, presumably, the ability to tell whatever one you want. Uh, well, I mean, it's hard to pick. There's a lot of stories I'd like to do. Um... Uh... One... Idea that I like is, um... My brain's still catching up. Uh... I, I I actually like legit have no idea why I'm blanking on this one. I, oh no! Um. Hmm. Um. One idea that I like is um. Uh, like guys who essentially wanna be like adventurers in like a fantasy world but it's a fantasy world that's kind of moving on and becoming more modern not like fully modern but kind of entering into the modern era Ooh, like you know, bright sort of renaissance era no not like that it would be like <laughs> no it's like just late that, um, renaissance or yeah, like an, an early yeah. industrial revolution that happens in like 1500 yeah kind of and so it would be that you have these characters who kind of want to achieve something that's no longer possible and so it would be a matter of trying to figure out the nature of what it means to do heroic and, gr and good things in a in a world that kind of uh doesn't make it quite as simple um or quite as straightforward that's kind of an idea that i like oh there you go um Adam, the problem to begin with is universal suffrage. Idiots in California, for example, vote away people's property rights and universal suffrage. Oh, it was when we had Adam on. <laughs> I remember. Was he and Sitch on both of the Hassan? No, because it was he and Sitch were the first ones and then Dev was on the second one, I think. Of those two. Hard to remember because it was uh, two cannot... years ago, as Hassan would say. Or someone would say. Two anyway. years ago. It's hard to believe 10 years ago, though. <laughs> no, yeah. Aiden, you can speak Vulcan, but can you speak Albed? Albed? I don't know if that's uh, a language, I don't know. Albed is from the Final Fantasy X. It's spoken by the, well, Albed. Ah. There you go. And I thought Sitch was a glue sniffer for thinking sequels were greater than prequels, but Adam, holy hell, man. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess, uh... Wait, if they talked, if it mentioned Aiden, that means I'm reading these backwards. Alright. I will flip... ...and note where I was so that we won't... Yeah, this will all be good. Don't worry, everybody. Lol, work out. So, I'm, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick, and I'll be right back. It's alright. Belch. 
Transformers 4 was only successful with the help of China, giving us TF5 with a goofy Anthony Hopkins and a drunk Merlin. Um, I haven't seen it, but it sounds goofy. Thank God Bumblebee, which was okay, reset the timeline and the sequel is 2022. Oh, they're making a sequel for Bumblebee? I think they're making a new Transformers that because um, I think Bumblebee was more trying to lean towards the cartoon uh, in terms of style, from what I understand. And Is this Michael one Bay involved or not? Jeez. I think he's a producer, but he didn't Thank direct goodness. Bumblebee, and I don't think he's directing the next. Either. Well, I think that's uh, stifling his vision. That's what I think. Uh, yeah. Just bought my first house and want to share the joy with EFAP and chat. Also, high rank. Oh, wow, congrats. congrats. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll read out the high rags again once he's back. From whatever he's up to. And possibly now. The song looks like Down Syndrome Seth Green. Um. You don't look like Seth Green. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Communism is the very definition of failure. Well, that doesn't sound very s s nerdy of you. What's that got to do with Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> Asmongold watches a lot on his stream, but he always has commentary and promotes them. Well, yeah, man, we we, we gave the guide on this really easy. Because even if you are lazy, you can still do this in an ethical way. Don't you worry. Yeah. Who is worse as a political commentator, Movie Bob or Hassan? Movie Bob says worse stuff, but Hassan is really dumb and popular. Hmm. So I guess the yeah, variables. The factor into um, whether you're a good or bad political commentator, you know? Yeah, because it, it sounds like then the the metric involves like how stupid the stuff he's saying is, but also what the reach and influence of it is. Yeah. Yeah. If. Uh... If Movie Bob's crazy thoughts are on deaf ears for his entire career, then does it matter compared to someone who's got milder stupid thoughts, but that everybody yeah. listens to him? It's like, hmm. Such philosophy is is complex and haunting in its own way. Um, but I'm sure Hassan's done more damage than Movie Bob. Probably. I think it's like it's pretty impossible to argue the reverse, right? Yeah, he's just way bigger and more people listen to him. Um, where did you learn to cook, Hassan? On a, what do you call it? A, a farm? Oh yeah, because he forgot the word for cook, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, there's that, that clip where he's like, uh, people point out that he left and he's like raging. He's like, I was, I was, I was Busy, I was, I, I was, I was, what do you call it? I was cooking. Oh my, really? I was like, how do wow. you, how, okay. <laughs> That's, it's like it's not one of those words that you uh, forget, you know? Unless, of course, he doesn't do it much at all. Uh, it's like, it's, it, it, it's the same to him as, you know, fucking, I don't know, uh, belunking. It's this thing you did here and there and you forgot the word for it. Right. Usually has someone for it, you know? Um, look up the small video on YouTube channel Chewy's Meme Town. Um, I've never heard of such a channel. I don't know what mysteries yeah, happen there, but uh... To be honest with you, we've got quite a few to get through in this selection, so I'm gonna opt to... Well enough, uh, we probably won't have any Animal of the Day Super Chats in, in this selection, because it was before that craze happened. Um, oh, or it won't be much. Also, hi Rags. Hello! Rags, the guy who made a video on you formerly known as Pig Puncher, made a reaction video to the accusation of Hassan Pike stealing content. I haven't seen it yet, but it might be a good watch. Um, he's person made a video about me. <laughs> he's on relatively good terms with uh, Jay, so I doubt he's gonna fall on the, the San side. In fact, I doubt anybody fucking falls on Hassan's side at this point. There's just no, there's no social credit to that. It didn't work out yeah. as uh, 
And I, it's yeah, funny how I put that. Social capital. I, I say that as though there's no reason to side with him, and there's also no benefits to doing so socially. <laughs> so, so like, yeah, they, it's not about like principles or you know things like that. It really is with these people. Just what can I get out of this? I mean, I can't explain why Denims would have sided with him other than defending her own brand and trying to score a few extra points. Why not? I, you know, it, it can be that simple. Right. It's just like, if I defend him on this, he might he might pick that up and be like, hey, thank you. Because uh, who the fuck cares about J J JX? Yeah, no one cares, so that's fine. She ended up deleting her video. Did we mention that on uh, on Nefa video? I can't remember. I think, so. I think she deleted a bunch of stuff. Um, she made that post about things, and it was... Well, as bad as you might imagine. Her take is immortalized in that EFAP episode, as well as her pinning the only comment that agreed with her. <laughs> because why wouldn't you, I guess? Immortality, it's yours. Take it. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, that's Troy, right? Yeah, it is. That was fun. I like Troy. <laughs> we, I don't know. You know. We should do an EFAP movie on Troy. That will should. release in 2037. We should do that. That one's been edited for a while. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, it's good. It really is. It's good. It's one of the better ones. I it ooh, it might be my favorite in that series. I was gonna say like, uh, sorry, Fab Chat, for saying this as if like, you know, you're getting it soon. But uh, there's a, there's a couple in that in that arc that are complete. It's just that we got a long way to go before it is complete. So don't worry, they'll all come out in a way that's very satisfying, I imagine. But um, yeah, we're excited uh, to to. To show you those ones. It's a fun arc. Can't wait to record more. A few years. Well, that's probably helpful. <sighs> Over actually. the next few years, it yeah, will release yeah. in the. Uh, yeah. Um. Also, high racks. Belch. Hello? Hmm. Um, if you want to watch something without pausing, go watch the video, not the reaction. It's, um. It's an interesting one. Because I try to think, what is the best argument that can be made that kind of is in that field? And it's like, have I ever watched someone react to something and been desperate for them to continue? And the only thing I can think of where, where I'm aware of that, but also only thinking about the fact that I want their coverage, is that I know that something's coming up in the video that I can't wait for them to react to. That's probably it. Other than that. Like, it does come across as just like, just go watch the video. Why, if, if Do you want to see what's in the video? Just go watch the video. Or, they don't enjoy whatever you're talking about, and they want you to move on, and so for that moment, instead of saying move on, they just say play the video. I don't know, there's the... There is that strange environment. Uh, Jay might be a big gay tism, but this Hassan guy gives Cosmonaut a run for his money in terms of extra chromosomes. Also, hi Rags. Hello. Also, Mola, you gay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, we when when it comes to chromosomes, you want to it's like golf scoring. The less, the better. Or if you have zero, when you have zero. If you have, well, that's a good question, Mola. I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, if you have zero chromosomes, you. Oh, can you even comprehend that kind of life that is sins? Nirvana. You don't even have a, you don't even have a like a, a, a mortal shell at that point. You've just ascended. You've become something else, some being, some luminous creature in the ether, some sounds cool. Universal. Yeah, it's really probably something else. Um, why Hassan sound gay as fudge? Is Fudge K? Um, it depends how you pack it. I'm aware of that. I just, uh, I, I, I especially, that's a South Park thing as well, right? Uh, uh, Fringy, the whole episode about the Fudge Packers. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's right. That was, um, yeah, and then, um, yeah, that's right. Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. Um,. Yeah, no, I did. I, I yeah, that's, uh, I, I assume there's some straight fudge out there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. There's tons of straight fudge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, what do you think about Games Workshop literally destroying all fan content with weird copyright laws? 
pray to the Emperor for TTS and our savior, Alpha. I think we talked about this in uh, the last EFAP recording yeah. that we did, because a very similar question popped up regarding Games Workshop and their their treatment of fan-created content mm -hmm. and how it's everyone hates Games Workshop, even me. I hate them, and I don't really... I'm not even like a Warhammer fan or anything, but I hate them. Um, it's just the worst way to do things, um, as far as I'm concerned. Everyone hates Games Workshop. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot less aware of the context of all of it, so... Apparently the dingus is... Dingai. Dingai, yes. Oh, Fringy, you have Dingai in your neck of the woods. Dingars. Uh, sure. Not Dingai. It's not Dingai is multiple... Mul more than no, one dingo not. is Dingai. More than one dingo is Dingars. Oh, I don't know if it's that simple. I think you've fallen surprised. into the trap of English. You can't just add an S to everything and make it plural. Yeah, you add an E and an S. Ah, they found a way mm. around it. Ah. I'm pretty sure that's how... Wait, I need to, uh, let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that's Because I think, plural. Is, does dingoes have an E if it was an actual word? No. Or is it just an S? Because like, potato just... has an E-S, but... Potato... It is a uh, OES, yeah. Mm, dingoes. I, just thinking about it, it seems like it looks more correct without the E. Something um, about it. I don't know. Maybe to you, but to me it makes sense. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It just doesn't... I think the D-I-N-G-O... D-I-N-G... I, I think the D-I-N-G-O-S. It just looks righter. Something about it. Ugh. Americans with their looks writer. Look what you did to armor. Oh. Armor? And color. Colors are great. Um, you have potatoes. Potato has an ES, right? And toe already had an E, so it's not even a good example. But what about... Uh, what about bingo? Right? So if you have multiple pingle peep pingle. pingle. If you have multiple peep if you have multiple pingles playing pingo, right? And all the ladies and the old the old ladies in the bingo hall, and someone says, B seven and then like three ladies go, Bingo And are those bingos so you have three bingos that happen at once. Is that B I N G O S or B I N G O E S? That's what I wanna know. Not really that much. You know what? Don't even tell me. Let's just leave that out there for everyone to uh, explore. I was going to say, it's really hard for me to muster, like, any kind of passion for that subject. I just... <sighs> yeah. Oh, you should see those old ladies at the bingo hall. They all have, like, five of those cards, and they got the little stampers, and they are... It's cutthroat in there. It is cutthroat in there, and it is easy to find a vein. So they are, they are a very ruthless bunch. They used to, yeah, oh, that's why Betty White got her name. She's Betty White Knuckle. I see. How many cloned Chris Chans does it take to kill a permanently enraged, fully grown silverback gorilla? Chris Chans are all post... Uh, recent controversy. And sure to accommodate for the increased power level. Um, I mean, that's kind of difficult, right? How many... Let's just call it humans. Would it take to 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 beat a silverback gorilla in just a one on one? Well, it wouldn't be one on one. If, you know what I mean? Like a we, melee fight. If we need to bust out the midgets and knives, we will. But I think silverback gorillas are quite ferocious. Powerful. They're yeah. they're big. They've got a low center of gravity. Really big front arms. They've got those fucking big ass teeth. And let's just look. Look, evolution took us in different directions. All right. And when you're out in the jungle and it's a one v one. Uh, I I think that it's going to take... Oh, I think it's rough. I think it's rough. Um, oh, gorillas are fierce. It, I Because how would you... That's the thing. We talk about this whenever it's an animal versus an animal. The capacity for a kill shot. How think can X-animal actually kill X-animal? You put, like, 
one guy on one arm, one guy on the other arm, one guy just tries to go for a strangulation sort of thing? Um, I think for a lot of these, it will be strangulation. Strangulation. There, there needs to be some way for you to cut off the airway, because you're not gonna. I don't think you can bludgeon it to death with your fists. I think it's just too tough, and that is not a punching match that you want to get involved in with a gorilla, because you will just flat out lose, uh, punch for punch. Um, so maybe if you got behind it on its back, and got an arm around it and really squeezed, maybe. And that's a big maybe, but I think that might be your best chance. Because I just don't see what kind of damage you could do to it with your bare body to kill a gorilla. Because that thing's got huge strength, big hands. And it's got like four hands too, because of its feet or hands. Which, that would have been cool if we could have kept that. That would have just been so fucking useful. Um, and you have the, the teeth on those damn things. Yeah, I think the gorilla is gonna—it's gonna take a lot of people to fuck up a gorilla. Well, I guess that's the question, right? What, 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 would you, what number would you put it at for the humans to win? Oh, if they're decently sized people—nothing crazy, but decently sized, strong guys. Um, I'm trying to picture it in my head. Minimum, I'd probably say four minimum. I I'd think sheer strength of the that. gorilla. Yeah, but if you could, if you could preoccupy the, 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 all but one is almost basically just for distraction's sake, so that you could get that guy yeah, you need on his back. bodies just for the gorilla to take time to kill, so that they have time to kill it. <laughs> like, that's... Yeah, you need distractions, you need, you need people to waste its time to maybe just make it t a little bit more tired, so that you can get on him. Or we're gonna get thrashed. I mean, Rags said four minimum, and that's probably yeah, if minimum. things really go their way. Um, but you know, it could. I don't know what the um, fatigue rates of a gorilla are exactly. How many gorillas would it take to kill a bear? Ooh, that is an interesting question. I bet. I bet. I'm. Hmm. I think it takes less gorillas to kill a bear than people to kill a gorilla. I'm Probably, say, yeah. I'd a say lot maybe power three. Got one, two, four, two, forty minimum. Jesus Christ, forty gorillas versus the bear. I don't know about the fucking bears you have over <laughs> in your your part of the world. But Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm gonna say minimum of three big gorillas. I think they could pull it off. Yeah, but I think right. that 1v1, a gorilla loses to a bear. I guess it but depends on what um, types we're going for, but if we just had the best of both, I think the bear is going to be a fucking beast, right? To Yeah. Yeah. I th I Powerful think animals. Uh, mm. Yeah, you see, I'd be we, curious, yeah, like, yeah. the mm. claws of the bear and the how effective they are on the gorilla. I'm assuming it's completely effective, really, but I don't know. I think it'd be, yeah. Because, you know, Cause gorillas think, do have the rage. Does a gorilla rage, have any you know? natural predator? That's true, that's true. But bears also have that, that rage. <laughs> so true, they both got the rage. <laughs> it's very, it's, it's tough to say. You got that These Kylo Ren rage, hitters. you know. If Maybe they could just make a peace offering where the bear would give the gorilla a banana and the gorilla would give a honeycomb to the bear and yeah. things would be great. Why all this violence, brother? I do not the, know. The humans are our enemy. The humans are our enemy. <laughs> We're like, no, you guys fight. They call themselves the greatest apes, but we know the <laughs> truth. We know the truth. Um, A team reigns supreme. Hi, Rags. Hi, Mola. Hello. Hello. Adam, I just tried ordering Hawaiian pizza and they're out of pineapple. What did you do, Sitch? Yeah, it's good that they're out of pineapple. It's it is good that they're out of pineapple because lucky. that is a um, yeah. Then again, why are you ordering Hawaiian pizza? You know, that was just that was the first misstep. That was that's where it all went wrong. Uh, hello, gents. Can you tell us, meme makers, what color the 150 logo will be? Oh my God! Look how far back we are. Mm. But, um, well, it was purpley, right? We went with purple for that. Fun times. I think so. 
Bring it. How does your government keep people indoors when they've lost to birds? Good luck. <laughs> nearly a hundred years ago, all right? It's a different time, guys. Jeez. Different time, different birds. Oh, so be a read. Uh, <laughs> this one just says pause and talk more, please. Yeah, we don't pause we, we don't just all forget that as a comment, but yeah. Hey, Mola, did you see the episode of Buffy that is this when you were a kid? Did it give you a few nightmares? I loved it. I thought it was fucking great. I even remember um, thinking I had seen more than was actually in there because I was younger and I just had uh, memories of seeing something more violent, let's say. But that show has got limits on how much violence it can show. Though it was an episode that was controversial for that. Um, in fact, there is a, an Angel episode that got an 18 rating. Which is like R-rated. Um, oh wow! If one day you see that, Rags, you'll definitely—I will sure tell you that—and you're going to be like, "Why the fuck would this get an R-rating?" I'd be like, "Because people were weird back then." I don't know. Remember, Super Smash Brothers Melee was rated T for Teen. Well, it's it's just so very violent. Like, I like. The people who wouldn't let their kid have Super Smash Bros. Melee would be happy to put on Looney Tunes. I was gonna say, Looney Tunes is probably more violent. Uh, it is! Looney oh, Tunes yeah. is quite violent. But it's portrayed in a, in a cartoonish way, so it's fine. I mean, Smash is pretty cartoony, As long cartoon as everyone's okay right? in the end. It is, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's an interesting parallel to make. People are not consistent. I wish they were, but people are often not consistent. Um, the, the, the episode they're talking about is Hush. Everyone probably who knows anything about Buffy will know that episode. It's, uh, it's, I think, the only episode of Buffy that got a writing Emmy. Which is interesting, considering the context, but you can understand why that one would have drawn attention. Um, and, uh, I think it's neat, it's just fucking annoying that that's the only one that got the Emmy. This is your brain on communism. Don't try communism, kids. Not even once. Or twice. Or three. Stop trying it already. Uh, yeah, no. I think Python had one of those sketches. This is, you know... Communism. This is your country on communism. It's not good. And then the eggs, and then the... Jews, yeah. American defense! 600 years, Rags. That's how long it takes. That's why I trademarked Happy Hitler's Schnitzel House, and I'm gonna cryogenically... Happy Hitler's Schnitzel House. I'm gonna cryogenically freeze myself at the appropriate time. 600 years? What are we talking about? Uh, I wonder what we asked. I have no idea. Happy Hitler Schnitzel House. It's, it's a, it sounds it's like really a wholesome funny, establishment, though. at least. Yeah, I'd love to go to Happy Hitler Schnitzel House. Schnitzel's a funny word. It just is. No avoiding it. The Germans do. Uh, how far will YouTube need to go with their censorship before you'll consider switching platforms? Are there viable alternatives? There are definitely uh, viable alternatives, but... How far would they have to go happen. for us to leave as opposed... Like, so, not for us to get banned, but for us to leave. They'd have to do something pretty extreme. Yeah, it would have to be extreme. Say, for example, they banned saying fucking shit. That was that can get your channel removed. I would be you fucking would surprised, say... but I would probably yeah. be able to deal with that. I'd be like, alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah. We, would, we would not do it. It sucks, but we would come up with alternative words and phrases, and we would have a meme about it, but we would not say those two words, the naughty words. Um, and then it's like, so, okay, what if they stop banning... Um, I'm trying to think of, like, how far this could go. Maybe you, you they, they want to be more kid-friendly, and so you cannot anymore discuss any topics that relate to anything controversial, including but not limited to any media that is meant for people over the age of, like, teenagers. So, you know, like, even a reference to Predator or Terminator or something, and then they just be, like, banned. I think some if it got to something like that, I would then be like, guys, we should probably move. Because we can't even talk about the things we're supposed to fucking talk about anymore. EFAP is done after that. We could keep going. We could just talk about kids' content. Like, because there's plenty of kids' content we actually like. Uh, quote unquote kids' content, you know, like Pixar or Pixar, whatever else. Yeah. Just that realm. And to be fair, yeah. Star Wars would probably still be Star okay. Wars, yeah. yeah, Star Wars would probably be alright. But, um, I think at that point, yeah, I would, I would 
be like, we should probably start dual streaming somewhere else and then swap over once YouTube becomes a fucking hellscape because it's clearly on the way at that point. Isn't... I think Twitch was thinking about removing the dual streaming restriction. So that would be an alternative. If, if um, it came to that, we could dual stream on both. I suppose the funny thing about that is that Twitch is more, you know... Uh, draconian than fucking YouTube is. So it's just like, yeah, we could dual stream for safety to Twitch. It's like, but if you get banned on YouTube, you probably almost guaranteed get banned on Twitch. It's not worth doing. Yeah, no, you, point, I understand. Maybe. But if we're going to dual stream to somewhere else, surely it would be wiser to choose something that's, uh, I don't know, more freeform, more uh, welcoming of the, the the people willing to say poo poo and, uh, and fook. Poo poo and fook. Fook and poo. Mm hmm. Um, but we, you know, we're safe for now. And we have been for this long. To be fair, I'm kind of surprised that EFAP has gotten away with uh, some of the stuff we've, we've had. Because YouTube is kind of a dick, but uh, at the same time. Haven't come after us too hard. It's mainly copyright issues we end up getting. We haven't had many, like, community guidelines strikes or anything. Nah. Mainly because the we're good people. videos are too long for them to check. Yeah. Even the algorithm bots are getting bored. They're like, Ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't go through all of this. They're just Nazis. This, this is ridiculous. Um, as a replacement for the event we cannot speak of, how about the first international desk surfing contest? Excuse me while I prepare to go to hell. Is that? That could be a reference to a couple things. I swear, I older no super idea. chats were much more edgy. Because I'm almost certain that's edgy. I just don't exactly know what the context is. Um, oh, Rags. I love your brutal humor. Never change. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. I'll do whatever I think I can get away with. Uh, I feel attacked. I have you guys playing in the background while I'm playing... Sorry, what game is this? Uh... Oh, Ascent. Ascent? I don't know that one. Right, uh, I think, let me double check, uh, da, da, da. The Ascent is, oh yeah, The Ascent, uh, Mar it came out in March of this year. Oh, they love it the new a, thumbnail a solo and co -op action shooter RPG. Are they Go memeing? On. They said love the new thumbnail. Wait. The same one we do with Super Chat Ketchup. Shut up! Why be mean? Maybe you need to make a new super chat image. Maybe. Mix it up. Well, you, you won't see it, it um, super chat two as often revenges. as soon as we catch up. You know, we we'll we'll would be fine. Um. Someone on Twitter really said, "If the video Hassan watching was boring, what is he supposed to do?" Die. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea that it's the creator's fault that he's not talking because there's nothing for him to talk about. It's like, what the fuck? That's so unfair. Oh, well, you're missing a stream right now. I fucking hate it when anyone says that because I'm like, Jesus Christ, am I? Have I, uh, what did I commit to? Wednesdays, I always save free fat. There's no way I committed to anything. Chat's gaslighting me. You have to, you have to rag stop him. I, uh, chat, I, if you are, um, if you falsely accuse someone of gaslighting, that is, is that gaslighting? I don't know, actually. Does the word gaslighting come up in the, uh, Depp Heard case? I assume it has. Uh, probably. I'm, I, yeah, I don't follow the case, but I assume, I'm gonna assume yes. Because it gives me big gaslighty vibes when she was like, I did not punch you, I hit you. What a quote. It's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of choice quotes. Um, you were saying, uh, she's on the stand now, or, or uh, I assume? I assume I'm gonna uh, see some memes. I, I, eventually. I don't know if it's happening now, but it's gonna happen eventually. I imagine. It's gonna be funny. Sorry. I can't wait to see what yeah. lies she's gonna spin. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, she, know, it, yeah. she was on the stand. Actually has done, has gone on the stand. Oh. So, that means she probably did her, and she'll probably get cross-examined, I guess, mm. tomorrow. 
giant oh, Give boy. me the old grillin'. Grill that. Are you an asshole? Like, yes. Because when you're under oath, that means you can't lie. It's true. It's illegal to lie. Mm-hmm. In 150, play Hassan video in the break. Oh, why would we torture you guys that that way? That that's no fun. Yeah. The joke no. is playing a J video. <laughs> that, that's the joke. Yeah. Uh, Fringy mate, congrats on getting the permanent slot. You're the wolf to wolf's Tasha Yar. I don't oh. understand these references. There's a nerd oh, show. Oh, I'll 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 fill you in. Okay. So in the first season of Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Worf was not chief of security. Instead, it was Lieutenant Tasha Yar, played by Denise Crosby. Michael Dorn played uh, Worf. And she expressed that there wasn't, say that she didn't want to be a part of the show anymore in that first season. There wasn't enough character stuff happening. She didn't see, like, she was really enjoying it all that much, and da 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 da. da. So she decided that she would leave the show. And so they unceremoniously killed her with a tar monster. Oh, that allowed I'm, for. I'm vaguely aware of that. I remember the. Yeah. yeah. So they moved Worf into the uh, head of security position, and there he remained for all of TNG, and became the most uh, common figure in Star Trek. He's appeared in more Star Trek than anyone else. Uh, and hey, he's, he's he's coming for Picard season three. Isn't that great? Mm. Oh. It's not very enthusiastic. Uh, well, yeah, you know, it'll be great. Uh, yeah, at least in this scenario, there was no tar monster, so there's that. But uh, you know, it's, 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 I can I can totally see the thematic, meta narrative parallels. So it is definitely up there with. Uh... I, I don't know if I could really blame her because the first season of TNG was not good, but it is just the first season. But yeah, the definitely up there in some of the worst career decisions ever was leaving TNG in that first year. I guess you just can't know these things at the time. You can't. Like, I know um, that Sean Connery gets flack for a lot of these uh, roles, turning down Morpheus and Gandalf, but... I mean, is it that crazy considering, like, the idea and the director and stuff like that? You know, it's... Sometimes you don't blame them, even though they ended up being... I mean, maybe for our sake, it was the... Wait, was it, it Morpheus was that he turned down? Yeah. He was gonna really? be Morpheus. So they, they, yep. they were gonna have him as Morpheus, but then they went with Lawrence Fishburne. That feels like two very disparate castings, you know? Very different, but I see them both working. Same thing with Gandalf. I could see him as Gandalf. I can understand that like, one, you know. Yeah. Because I can see. <laughs> he turned down yeah. Neo. He turned down Neo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could work. We give it a chance. Because this is the thing. Uh, Morpheus does a lot of fighting and shit. Um, mm -hmm. he was a like, pretty old at that point, right? I thought he turned uh, down the architect. That would make a lot more sense to me. I heard that he turned down Morpheus. So the thing is, yeah, does that make sense that he would turn down the architect after knowing that Matrix 1 was already hyper successful? Because didn't it get the two sequels from the success of the first one? Yeah, I, yeah, I just I checked imagine. it. He did turn down, uh, he turned down uh, being Morpheus. Though, he would have made a good architect. That is true. Yeah, I could see that working, but um, it doesn't make, really make sense that you would turn down the architect after Matrix's success, right? If it were based solely on what he thought the prospects of the series were. Or, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Metal's in chat. Ew. Oh. Franny, did you let him in again? Huh? Leave the door open, I'm... Metal got in. No. <laughs> you, don't want, you, you don't want to be blamed for that. I don't even, I didn't. Um. As bad as Hassan is, at least he isn't as dishonest as Steven Crowder. I. <laughs> Hassan I don't totally know not dishonest. I guess. Yeah. Is someone dishonest when they're just really stupid? I don't know. I don't think this 
Oh, well, yeah, like when he kept, I because it feels so clear, right? When he kept reiterating dead dog on the art place thing, it's like there's a part of him that knows that he should do that for sympathy, but there's also probably a part of him that thinks it's like actually like a really valid. Just, point yeah, just to true and valid back. that he can say that. So I don't know that I would call him dishonest. I just think he's stupid. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's really hard to gauge with someone like Hassan because. He, he might think he has a point with all of this. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because the whole thing of, like, I guess, you know, because he used to basically make, like, what, I mean, he's often described as, like, frat boy content, right? Like, that that's yeah. what he used to make. I can imagine that, like, the transition was not dishonest, but more so just something that happened because that was what was popular at the time, you know? Yeah, I completely believe that, yeah. A, a high rift. You know? I think that had he been starting up 10 years earlier, we would be dealing with a very different Hassan. Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, Hassan would make a video himself and show it on stream during breaks, but he wouldn't get any revenue from it that way. He wouldn't get any revenue from it that way. Well, whatever he's getting from stealing other people's stuff, he'd still get from reappropriating his own stuff, right? And he gets to re-upload it on YouTube anyway, so... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just the fucking obvious ethical option, but oh well. Hassan is the typical authoritarian. Lack of coherent philosophical grounding, only believes in power, is completely unfazed by counter-evidence unless it's his side. He'd be scary if he wasn't dumb. I would absolutely not want someone like him with, uh significant power but then again yeah, there's a lot of people was, i wouldn't want with significant power so yeah if you imagine hassan is like the son of fidel castro or something like that on the little communist island you could just who knows what horrible things would happen there i think um you hope that part of it is uh just because they've never experienced like real uh hardship stress and like uh, humanitarian decisions of, of of a kind that involved literally like the difference between a pen stroke can kill thousands. Like, hopefully, if ever they were put in that scenario, they would fucking stop being so... I wish hopefully. fucking everybody's dead or some shit like that. Um, he, would, he, would he burn uh, massive bird cages? Oh, definitely. Just to show everyone that he's, the, he's in business. God, that was so dumb. So I am so evil. <laughs> How do we how do we show that this character is evil quickly? He burns all the bird in the cages and so they like, scream. Oh, they're so upset about being burned, which I don't blame them for, but uh. cuz and you uh. know what a better way to do that would be maybe is to he orders to release them and just have some god, I guess, who knows this and he's like, "Oh, they're the they're, they're like whatever birds were." The symbol they're, of the old regime. The, the, oh, I was going to say something like they're um you know, they were, they were, I don't know if this is even applicable to birds, so maybe I'm wrong, but like, they need to be kept and fed, because they're a particular kind of bird or whatever. The implication being that they'll die if they're, they're released, and the guy could be like, I don't give a fuck. You know, like, that's a, a more realistic way of being evil, instead of, please pour gasoline on all of the birds and bird them. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, this just seems dumb. Hey, that was a fantastic scene. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I disagree, Metal, and I, I think How we'll have to set up a debate. How am I supposed to know he's evil? Set up a Metal's Forge debate about the bird <laughs> scene. Yeah, that's true. The bird scene. Open was saying, like, you know, I, I think it's very reasonable and in character, and I go, I don't. He's like, all right, thank you. Now uh, yeah, we can read out time. Super Chats. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, hey, wait. Is that it? No. 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 Um, Rags, I'm Saddam. Yes. To hear you call Hassan dumb in the future, please never call him that. He's much stupider than that. Also, how dull remove Fringu from my hair. Well, like, how dull? Hammer? It's it's so badly spelt and grammar, and there's not even spaces between a lot of these words. Oh, okay. Like, I did the best I could, guys. I'm sorry. They just want to know how to remove goo from their hair, which is fair. Maybe that's why they were you struggling probably, to type. You probably wanted to go in the shower and get it really wet and then kind of, and use some kind of... There's got to be some solution. 
Well, just you know what? I mean, like ultimately, solution in a chemical sense. Not yeah, yeah, just yeah. Like yeah. An well, answer yeah. Your problem, yeah. But um, you know, ultimately, if if it's causing you trouble in any way, just maybe maybe cut that hair out if if you're desperate. You know? Yeah, it'll grow it's back. Something like sometimes that happens. Kids get like gum in their hair. That's what I think. My parents always told me, don't sleep with gum because you might wait. Who knows? You it'll fall out of your mouth and you'll turn your head, and then you'll have gummy hair, and then it's our problem, and we don't <laughs> want problems. Hassan can't hire workers the same reason Sitch can't hire an assistant, because they would bang them. Oh. Oh. Well, all right. I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what to say to that. Maybe if that was part of the job description, but that would be like a prostitute, right? You can't do that in most places. Not in the States. But maybe on Tatooine. And I think if there was an understanding wink wink, then I don't even think that's, in, that's you can't do that as well. I'm, guys, not sure, I'm not sure though. Guys, play the video. Why are we just talking? <laughs> I said, well... <laughs> So Kyle is correct in the chat. Don't sleep with gum; it will not return your feelings. It is uh, gum's kind of gum is yeah, cold and tough. On principles, hearing Aiden Paladin's debate with Sitch about NAP actually pushed me to be a vegetarian. I haven't had meat in three months. Fourth of July was hard. Oh, NAP, yeah. the non-aggression principle. Presumably regarding animals and humans and interactions. I, NAP generally refers to like uh, ANCAP stuff and there's some th something along those lines. I've heard of it, but I don't know too much about it and how it's mm. used really. Uh, socialists are capitalists that don't want any real competition. Intriguing. It does make you wonder sometimes. As someone who is neither an intellectual nor believes in private property, Hassan cannot afford to believe in the concept of intellectual property. Because <laughs> in his head, there is no intellectual property. <laughs> hey, he's he's probably said something that's correct in his lifetime that he heard from somewhere I'm else. Sure. And will yeah. Thus claim. He'll be like, I'm hungry, or I am tired. I need to sleep. Yeah. You know, um, something like. That. I'm admittedly beset by time. <laughs> oh yes, of course. <laughs> I am admittedly beset by tiredness. The fuck? <laughs> if one of you yes. guys said that shit, I would laugh and be like, that's a great yeah. reference. I would never think you're yeah. serious. If I ever say that unironically, I need you to just pause the stream and just take me aside and say, Rax, what's over. going on? It's done. What, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Well, I mean, it's, what's it's happening? exactly as I said, I'm set by tiredness. I like, there's going to be people in chat who are like, what the fuck are they talking about? I almost, just for the people who know what we're talking about, which there are going to be several, enjoy that. You know what we're referencing. Yeah. The less people know, sometimes the more precious the reference. Yeah. 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 Here's a fun fact about me. I only now realize that Wong and Marvel is called Wong in real life as well. There yeah. You. Oh, Benedict Wong? <laughs> yeah. Ben I was, Wong. I was almost about to ask, like, does he make it through the film unscathed? But I'm like, no, 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 no. Next, <laughs> we, we got a couple days and then we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm taking, I'm going for the movie in my brain right now. I'm taking notes for tomorrow. Oh, right, yeah, because you, uh, you've seen it. Yeah, I just came back. Well, you know what? Uh, you're allowed to do it. Fringy was. Just a non-spoiler brief perspective if you want, and then a good old-fashioned... Does it... Is it closer to bad, mid, oh. or good? I'll be honest, I have no clue. I need to go <laughs> through it in my mind again. It's... Things... There's things, a lot of things happening. Well, that's good. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure where I stand on it. I wasn't bored, at least. Hey! But I also hey, didn't feel anything, reference. so... <laughs> to be fair, Mel hasn't seen it three times, so whether or not he's bored is with nothing. Uh, four mm -hmm. times, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, the, the acting is pretty good, obviously. So oh. I didn't expect that to yeah. be bad, really. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if gun to my head, I would say is it's, it's all right on the first watch without extra thinking about it. But I'm pretty sure while I'm going through here, just thinking about it and putting things into context by all the other things that happened. I don't, it's probably not going to hold up. <laughs> hmm. 
I would say. There you go, everyone. Metal recommends it fully. Thinks it's pretty good. Think it out. Seems we already saying. I don't know. But if you're uncertain, I just wait till Saturday, and we'll go through it step by step. Or tomorrow, then I'll do it alone. <laughs> oh. And then it's Saturday again. I do like all the things these days. I also right. missed five minutes because I had to pee. Well, they. <laughs> I don't know. I just Where's your I pee beforehand, you fucking idiot? I did, but I had like a liter of coke. You had a rag bladder. Like, Dude. It was like one of the longest pees I had in a while. <laughs> I, I was mm -hmm. holding it in for like one and a half hours. It's like, I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> Damn. I do drink a lot of water, though, in my defense. That is good. As you should. Yeah, well, it's good for you. I have a lot of... I, I, I just... It's just all in and out with me. Always. It's just a cycle. It's the water cycle. Evaporation. Um. So this just says... Oop, I forgot. Smug Ross. Oh. <laughs> Smug yep, Ross. there we go. Oh, I all forgot right. about Smug Ross. Good times. Yeah, How it was good you? times. It's a great way to let people know that nothing you said is has any meaning at all. Yeah, that's always something that you want to do, is to value huge swaths of everything that you said about a topic. <laughs> well, dude, the, the peak was what it was like. It doesn't have to have Smug Ross on it for it to be sarcastic or whatever. It's like, so now, so, what, is anything you said meaningful? <laughs> Sitch, explain correct to the cast. S class is best class. Explain correct. Well, I was going to do that next time. Um, arguing via Super Chat is the ultimate big brain. Hell yeah. Uh, generic angry Super Chat number one. Oh. I'm George Soros' 12-year-old nephew. I'm going through something of a rebellious stage. These are a strange set of Super Chats. Yeah. I disagree Sorry. with Daddy Adam. The real moneymaker is people making homoerotic statements towards you to trigger your gay panic response. <laughs> what? Okay. How does that get monetized? <laughs> From the... You can't say gay unless it is followed by panic. Ah. <laughs> that all makes sense. That was a combination of words that I didn't think I'd ever hear. Bringing about your paintball story, we have them in Airsoft when I was a referee. A lot of a-holes would seem to enjoy hurting other players, saying it's part of the game. Good news, I often got to shoot them for cheating. Hey. Oh, boy. Yeah, that paintball story, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you, you, you're like, you've forgotten it and you're just like, yeah, that story. Or, or no, if you... <laughs> I, 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 no, I, it's, I remember it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Currently catching up on EFAP on episode 28. We'll catch up soon. You guys are cool. I hope you all have a nice day. Oh, Well, cool. thank you. Right. Great conversation as always. You all do great work, and I appreciate it to the moon and back. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed it. Plenty more on the way. You know, it's funny you mentioned getting cancelled while sleeping, Mola. There was a comic pro that went after because he was off Twitter on vacation while they were screaming about Comicsgate. Um, yeah, uh, oftentimes a lot of stuff just will happen when you're asleep, I guess, with, with when it comes to awareness of a thing. Because the, the famous one is one of the f first ones, the, the woman who went on like a airplane, right? Yeah, she tweeted something went on an airplane, and when she got off, she realized that she'd been cancelled, essentially. Yeah, because the, the Jenny Nicholson stuff was fucking surprising. Yeah. Um, cause like, it, that one was really surprising, because it was so hard to figure out what we had done wrong. Um, <laughs> but everyone was so sure of it, and I was just like, damn. I'm thinking of starting another channel where I straight up rip off Senate and Congress debates, talking points from the right and left, totally grift the fudge out of YouTube politics. It would be funny to run a, a channel that's like partisan left and right at the same time. Simultaneously, and yeah. None of it is substantiated. It's all designed to just be reaffirming, and that's it. And 
and then uh, you organize a debate between those two characters on like an official <laughs> podcast or whatever. And um, I don't even what would you do for because like revealing that would fuck over that podcast quite a bit, I guess. But you know, it would be funny. You know, like Oscar Isaac with the British accent, the American one. You know, it's funny you mentioned... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, I'm thinking of... Uh, I actually found a pausing makes you misunderstand their argument example in EFAP 59. Oh, well, it, it can happen. It but, can like, happen. we have done... We're coming up to 200 episodes that average at, like, five-hour coverage of these videos. I think our track record is good enough that... Um, it's damn it, good. It provides more... I would say far more... Um, utility, then it takes away. And uh, we, we do our best to correct that if it comes up. Um, I don't know what else one can do with stuff like that. And plus, if we do end up taking something out of context, then instantly we'll learn about it when like the thought or everything finishes, and then we'll recognize it, and then comment on that aspect of it. So, there you go. Um, and I would argue as well that nobody ever talks about the opposite, which is that when you take it slowly, you can uh, sometimes better understand what they're saying. Yeah. Nobody and also, ever fucking we, mentions that. It is possible for someone to just be flat out a really bad communicator. Yeah. We, we, we sit here and we have these debates all the time about, oh, did they mean this? Did they mean that? Surely they don't mean this like they say it. It happens all the time in EFAP. All the time in EFAP. Um, howdy everyone, and hi Rags. Hello. Hello. I simply wanted Hello. to say, I couldn't agree more with your point. Absolutely great stuff, keep it up boys. Now ponder the context. Six to eight hours to possibly six months from now. Love a loyal sycophant. She is. It's actually a year later, so... <laughs> you got that prediction wrong. But, um... I don't know, yeah, they agree with our point regarding something. I don't know what it is. But, uh, hopefully good it was move. a good one. Good move, yeah. Hello, green guy, caustic and dog. Hello. <laughs> Hello to you. What are your guys' thoughts about Battlefield Portal? For me, it's like my childhood coming to life, especially BF 1942, and a fantastic idea. I hope they do it well. Oh, well, wow. they didn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, there seems to be plagued with issues. What was the idea for that? Sorry. The idea we were sold was like, because the original concept came out in the trailers where Battlefield Portal was, it had a bunch of World War II Germans with knives and a bunch of modern US soldiers with defibrillators and they would run into each other and fight with them. So the whole concept was you could set up all these crazy cool cross, um, uh, like cross game fights and things um, and it came out and it's just less it just the, the things didn't work properly there was a bunch of stuff that just was not functioning as intended there it just wasn't mm. people said it was the best part of 2042 but even then it was just sorely poorly implemented Just popping by to say hi to Rags, and that A-Team reigns supreme. Good for A-Team. A-Team. Also, hi to Mola, Fringy, and Sitch, because as far as classes go, S-Class is alright. Hey. Oh, hi. Hmm. Any of you young men hungry? I made chicky nuggies. Oh, give me. Um, yeah, not really peckish. I probably ate a little bit more yesterday than I should have. So I'm oh, going to well, take it go. easy today. I want the nugs! I was going to say, nuggies are like screaming fuel. Give me nugs! <laughs> Nuggy fuel. End fuel. Mm. <laughs> uh, wait, nope. Rags is wrong. Hassan does not need to keep a schedule because we have seen oh. his mum bring him food before when podcasting, so we know there's no need for that. Mm. Yeah, but he still has to walk off to do stuff sometimes, so, you know. Gotta just... Gotta do it. Osama is dumber than me, and I had to repeat first grade. Oh yeah, he's, he's definitely dumber than that. 
But since this whole Hassan thing happens, <clears throat> every time I leave for a minute to just have a pee or something, every time I come back, there's like, why did you play Jay's video beams since then every stream? Like, yeah. I can't yeah. do a stream without it. Same here. <laughs> every time. <laughs> what else are people going to joke about? Because this is like <laughs> the most obvious thing. <laughs> just stuck immediately and it's never going away. Just got a new job and bought my own house. So nice to be back listening to EFAP live. I've missed it these last few months. Also, plays days, play days gone. Well, I wonder if you're, you're still back. Who knows? Because this was so long ago. And Days Gone is the game with the uh, zombies it? in the motorcycle. Why am I forgetting his right. name? Sam, Sam Wit something, right? Wiki. Not that one. I was going to say Whitaker, but I don't think that's right, is it? Mm. Guy who does loads of Star Wars stuff. Whitwer. That's it. Whitwer. My brain was, you know, nearly there. Having trouble. Um, a stupid socialist. What a surprise. Also, high Rax. Hello. Remember when we used to call him Brown Fabio? We should do that again. I don't even... I wasn't around for that. Like a, or at least I don't, I don't remember that part of the timeline. I've always known him to be kind of an idiot, but it was only recently that, like, when I say recently, like last two years ish, that I was more, way more aware of him. I guess being top of Twitch for political discussion would make you, like, become quite bigger to everybody, basically. And what was the serial again that you liked that you mentioned on the last stream? You say serial? Cereal, yeah. <coughs> like all cereal. Cookie crisp. But yeah, uh, it's not even a meme. I, I do like a lot, if not yeah, all cereal. There you go, Odin. It's cookie crisp. I gotcha. <laughs> what, he wanted to know what my uh, what cereal I like? Yeah, <laughs> for, for a meme, I think. Oh, okay. Go for some art. I just saw it randomly. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna boost that. Like a true champion. Mm -hmm. That's 20 bucks. If Lord of the Rings was made today, which characters would be race slash gender swapped and which character arcs would be butchered? So, to the second question, all of them. Um, all of them would be butchered. Uh, first Aragorn question, wouldn't be a king, it'd be a queen. I would expect them, possibly, to swap Gandalf. I think that um, they would be like, that role shouldn't be restricted to a male or something like that. The I could wiser, see them doing Gandalf. Yeah, the, the, the wise character who teaches everyone and instructs everyone, yeah, because you can't have women learning from men. We need to swap that around. Um, though I'm, I'm, I'm going with uh, Aragorn, not a Dude, king, but a queen. Boromir would remain a man, and he would be much more evil. Like they would make him way worse, I think. Um, as for, hmm, I'm not sure who else they would swap. Maybe Frodo. Um, they, they'd probably replace Merry or Pippin with a woman, a lady hobbit. I Probably think, I think, Mary. I think those are the most likely picks. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm like almost certain they'd swap Gandalf. I just, it to me feels like a something they'd want to do just to be like, see, it's time for the women to be Gandalf. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, that's that seems like it could happen, but we'll we'll see what uh, ends up happening with the um the TV show. I suppose they're gonna give us. Welcome back, Fringy. Internet was being a bit funny today. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hey, what's the 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 high sorcerer place called again? It's like a funky name. Camotage. Sorry. What are you talking about? Lord of the Rings or? Oh, Marvel, Marvel stuff. What was the well, sorcerer so... place? You talking about Kamataj or the Sanctum Sanctorum? I'm assuming it's one of those two. Kamataj. I have no idea to write that. I'll figure it out. Oh, well, yeah, it's Google. Cool. You could try that. I'm, I'm already on it. I wrote it correctly by accident. Good job, me. Nice. Dude, Lord of the Rings is being re remade right now. Not quite remade. The, it's a good old prequel, right? It's just gonna... I don't, I don't even know how many years it's set before, totally. but yeah. A long time, uh, like second second age stuff. I think just uh, I know Galadriel's in it. 
Yeah. They're making her something different. Um, I don't know if Elrond is going to be there. I just can't remember a lot of the specifics. That'll be fun when that arrives. That's, is that this year? Yeah, it's yeah, going to be yeah. later this year. Oh boy, 2022 is mm. set to be a legendary year, huh? For TV shows, at least. Uh, this brain-dead brainlet has 26k viewers right now reading an insider article. What the hell? Rags was right. Anyone can fucking do this job. I was going to say 26k. He's, he's up to like an average of 40k these days. Oh, those numbers make me sad. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, people like it. What can you say? Maybe I should have started lo start learning to read finally. Maybe that's the, the secret Oh, he didn't, song. so why should you? Oh, I can just pretend like I can read. Like, they pretend like Ooh, they know yeah. what they're talking about. It's so easy. The super chat says, calm down, EFAP. I am outraged. Angry, even. How about I, you calm down, you fucking I, piece of shit? <laughs> I just cannot feel any calm right now. I was saying that. That's fucked. I've got all the calmness. But not for you! Clarum. Not for you. Not for you. By the way, I'm working on my own breakdown for Loki because the show severely hurt me. So thank you for the last episode. That'll be helpful. Hey. Hi. Hey, that gives you the timeline. That's where we were. Yeah. Loki. Loki. It's pronounced cum loud. Okay. No, it's cum louder. Uh. But, you know what? If if in your head canon it's cum loud, go for it. I don't even they they oh they talking about the cum laude thing to do with um because they spelt it as cum and loud so I don't even know what the fuck's happening. Well, cum will stay the same. C U M is always cum how it's spelled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> laude is not even that. It's C O M E. Oh, sorry, babe. Oh, I, I like how though it would just be assumed I'm talking <laughs> about cum, not cum. You know, like. <laughs> So what, come, I mean, not come. That's, that's Jay's uh, <laughs> contribution to this podcast, I think. Right. <laughs> Jay did that. Yes. Don't even yes. try to argue that you're the one that fucking did come. I never said that. I wasn't even implying that. That's right. just. I think that's just an internet thing. <laughs> no, it's totally Jay that did that to this podcast. Jay couldn't stop saying come. There was loads of memes about this when it first started. <laughs> no, come. It, yeah, he, I mean, he's a fan of the come. Mm -hmm. He's a come fan. It's come fun. Come he's fun. probably like, if he's sleeping right now, he's probably like, wait, I feel a disturbance or some kind of, <laughs> something's <laughs> happening right now that regards <laughs> me. <laughs> sits, up in the, sits up in the bed. No, nah, come. Huh? Nah. <laughs> wow. They're talking about me. Or he just sits up really creepy. Like, uh, his front, his top half just bends upward. <laughs> oh, no. <You> know? <laughs> You're doing a bad argument. It wasn't done as a super chat or other donation message. Well, I have no idea what that's talking about. S class for Sitch, A team for Adam, House of M for Mola. We need team names for Rags and Pringle. No, the the we did them when me and um, Rags went on Adam and Sitch. Pretty sure. Oh, fuck, what was mine? Because yours were the Artards. I can't remember what mine were. Mongoloids, maybe? Uh, I was... I can't remember yours. I remember Artards, but I can't remember yours. Maybe someone in chat remembers, but... We made up something. Mongols. Hmm. You're a Mongols. Hassan Speaking is the smartest... Mongols, I need to pee real quick. Alright. Hassan is the smartest man on Earth. Uh, he figured out how to advocate for workers' rights while not paying his own. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Mongos! Yes. My team was the Mongos. And I'm happy with that. My little Hassani Wani works hard for his allowance. <laughs> uh, you know, this is, this is, I guess that's how you interpret works hard. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, Massives. Uh, Longman, have you or any other guest heard about the 40k fan animation debacle going on? F for the main Man Emperor. No, I'll read that one out. Again, once Rags is back, because he probably knows. Is it the S... Uh, what's his... Uh... No, wait, that was like a while ago. The okay. fan animation, that was like really cool. 
Uh, oh, what's the name of the S? Oh, I forgot. Chat, help. <laughs> wait until Rags is back, you fuck. No, what a no now! Nope. I think I he pulled himself this. up by his bootstraps so hard that he actually flipped reality. Oh. I didn't even know that was possible. Hassan's estimated net worth is 1.5 million. Make of that what you will. It's no way near that small. It's gotta be... Because the, <laughs> the house counts as net worth, and the house is worth, what, like $3 million? That's what we've heard, which... Plus the car, plus all the assets, plus presumably Taxes savings... Taxes and, and all the other recurring payments I, one has to make on a... Wait, I... I... We're trying to talk about how his net worth would be higher, not lower. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would, what, uh, alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely more than 1.5 million, um. Yeah. Uh, more than that, yeah. I mean, uh, surely this channel alone, like, I know that, I don't know, people don't, I don't know if people do, like, valuation on, like, platforms on the internet, but I mean, I gotta imagine that his, like, Twitch channel and YouTube, like, his brand collectively is worth millions. Yeah. In terms of, like, how much it would cost to buy it. Um, hi Rags. Hi! Have you heard about the 40k fan animation debacle going on? F for the Man Emperor. Which one? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna be down there. Yeah, because I don't know if it's... I don't know which one it is. I legit don't know which one they're referring to, because it happens... often, apparently. Fans make something incredible and better than the official stuff. And then Gears, uh, Gears Workshop, sorry, Games Workshop comes out and does a cease and desist or a you have to work for us. And if you do, we're going to control this and that and the other thing. And we're gonna, like the Astartes stuff that people loved and adored. Mm -hmm. They they got hired by Games Workshop and now it's not on YouTube anymore. You can't watch it at the same uh, at the same resolution, they made the some of the sound effects worse, and I don't even know what happened. In fact, let me check. Uh, uh, there was a March 2021, and Morehammer. There's. Yeah, because I remember it came out and it was huge. Millions and millions of views, and this guy poured his heart and soul into this project and it was in insane and now it's just like uh i guess there's the whole thing is uh I'm, I'm on the website it doesn't look like there's anything new on the website and it's been i don't even know how long since the last one uh it used to be individual videos that were released in like little minute long segments. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I because there doesn't seem to be any new stuff here. Oh, there you go. Uh, Rihanna Joy Gray. She isn't Reek. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Can someone explain the lefty slash righty bullshit to me? I don't give a fuck about American politics, but I need these two explained at this point. Yeah, good luck with that. No. <laughs> I don't understand. What Nobody understands anymore. Uh, thoughts on ammo shortage? I'm seeing 9x19 loadings going for more than 0. .50 BMG was in 2016. I feel like a rich man at the range. Yeah, uh, all those people who saved up ammo, like me, uh, we are, uh, we're, we're fortunate because ammo prices, uh, went up thanks to, uh, the most popular president ever and some other things, but yeah, the, it, there's, it's starting to go down again, as far as I'm aware, kind of like a lot of things it's starting to, cause the COVID stuff is stopping, ammo prices for certain calibers might stay really high because, um, restriction of importation of ammunition from Russia, which supplies a lot of ammunition that people buy here in the States. Uh, and that started way before like all the Ukraine stuff happened. So uh, yeah, hopefully it gets down lower. Uh, hopefully people start producing it way more um, 
here, so we don't have to import as much, but... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think the prices are as bad as they used to be, but they're still kind of up there. I know it, it certainly has impacted what I would potentially buy in terms of a, you know, a new gun. I wouldn't buy anything in 545 uh, by 39, and I, I'd have to check what 762 by 39 is. Because I just don't want to buy a gun and then be like, oh, ammo is really expensive, so I never want to use it. Ugh. Maybe I'll just get another sword. Get a sword gun. Sword gun, that's right. Why is it always Westerners shilling for socialism? Oh, you, you get people doing that for everything, right? Like, like there's people in the Western world who will be applicable for all the things. This, uh, mm -hmm. They just, they read a bunch of stuff and then they're like, I like this one, and I, then they go with that, it. That, that's, they read a bunch of stuff. I don't think that a lot of people read much at all um, in terms of, like, political philosophy. I, uh... I, I would I would be legitimately I wonder how many people would call themselves like any sort of brand have read like the foundational books on those uh those sort of uh topics. Well, I, I guess stuff it, like doesn't have to no, be like, like online, the uh, substantive stuff, even if it's yeah. not you know. Well, it's because yeah, I'm not sure. People have a great foundational understanding of a lot of these things. Um, greetings, Democratic politician here. The Democratic primary was super shady. Biden was almost in last place when everyone beating him suddenly drops out. He went out from fifth to first in one week. Nope, not touching that. In a nutshell, left equals equality, <laughs> right equals liberty. Nope, not touching that one either. Not After the that. recent Chris Chan incident. Nope, not touching that one either. <laughs> Thank you for your thoughts and your oh, patronage. No. We appreciate you immensely. Yes. Uh, Bye. Jebicide Squad looks like it'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you. I for agree. Jebicide. <laughs> that Jebicide is what we need in these trying times. I would love to have a Suicide Squad movie where they're all played by Jeb Bush. Uh, <laughs> Please. It's, clap. it's the Jebiverse where he's. Uh... Jebgasm. <laughs> The Jebverse, the Jebc, the JCU. They just call it the Jebcu. Um, I'm Mr. Hassan. Look at me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, kinda. Let them stream cake, Hassan. Probably. <laughs> kind of. I mean, he said as much. Let them stream cake. Uh, do not forget, Chang's nephew is pro-theft. He's defended shoplifters on his stream. That was a weird moment for the... for, the, for, the, for, the, for their grouping. That's a weird... Yeah. yeah, that's one of those weird lefty takes. Shoplifting's okay, don't... There's plenty of lefties that aren't okay with shoplifting. They're, they're, they're a weird group of people who say, like... Yeah, just run in there and steal everything. It's the obvious fucking question of... Like, can I steal from you? No, no, it's, they'll no, say it's no. It's yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll say, "Well, yeah. we're not a corporation." They'll be like, "So, how rich do you have to get before I can do it?" However rich I am, plus more. Yes, <laughs> and that that equation stays the same forever. Uh, look up a puzzle game called The Room. I've played The Room. I like it. It's fun. It's not got any association with the masterpiece film, The Room, but. Uh, it's a, it's a cool point-and-click game that's just about remembering uh, elements you've seen throughout. The, it's it's kind of like you get a box and it's got little divots and and drawers and levers and buttons, and you just got to try and figure out how to open it all until you get to the, the center, and then you unlock like the galaxy or some shit. Crazy shit happens in that game. Um, I'm assuming it has some form of a narrative. I can't remember though, because I was just enjoy the puzzle. You ever done one of those escape rooms? I've never I done did, one, yeah. but I'm aware of them. What's I have, that I have one like really close to me, and I did that with my mom Auschwitz? and my sister. It was fuck off. <laughs> it's, you can't escape that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my story is done. I can't stop that one. Oh, but yeah, the... I did escape room. It's good stuff. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, our, our family does them every once in a while. We've done three or four. I think we've done, f yeah, I think we've done four. 
Uh, they're neat. They are definitely, they've been of varying qualities. I remember two being pretty good, one being bad, and one being so-so. Uh, because, of course, if they, they got to be designed well. Um, yeah. One of one that we did that was I would call the bad one was it was themed around the 90s, and there was a yeah you know, it was like 80s 90s was the theme. I can't rem remember specifically. One of the puzzles in this room it was it was things were going pretty well because we had you know the whole family was there for the most part. Some of them are really big. Uh, there is in downtown Little Rock in the suburbs. There's this kind of this big house, it's like a small mansion, and it is a escape room house. So you go there and you, it's like a historical house, something like that. And so they use it to do escape rooms. Um, and, and the one we did that was 80s, 90s themed, one of the puzzles was to solve a Rubik's Cube. And oh, yeah, I, I hated that. that. It, yeah. It's, yeah, it's one of the reasons why it's bad. And, and we told them afterwards, it's like this. This sucks because we it was okay, and then we got to the Rubik's cube, and the puzzle was solve the Rubik's cube. And if you don't know how to do a Rubik's cube, you're just you're screwed. You you cannot yeah. progress. You can't. You have to because you're on a timer. So unless you can figure out how to solve a Rubik's cube on the spot, you're you're absolutely fucked. And yeah, it was. But I remember when I was in school, there was like a Rubik's cube craze going around for some reason. I don't even know why it just happened. But then I started learning, and it's like, oh, that, you need to do these specific steps uh, that you need to learn, so you know where to go from which position. So yeah, you don't that's know, what and I've then you confront it with it in a in an escape room. If there's no like, I don't know, if it's not put on there in a specific thing, and you get the solution from somewhere. Uh, but then again, you probably don't want to just put that in there because people are just gonna fiddle around with it if it's part of the puzzle, one way or another. Yeah. It's, so it wasn't like a, a bonus. Anywhere. It was like, this is the step you're on now. Yeah. And, and a lot of the times these are set up to be in multiple sort of paths mm -hmm. so that teams could, you could have different groups do the same puzzle overall, but work on different aspects of it. So everyone has sort of something to do. Um, you don't just have the four most enthusiastic people doing it all while the rest are bored and not you know, yeah. caring. Everyone kind of has something to do. But yeah, when it all got to the Rubik's Cube and we were just like, yeah, we're going to have to press the 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 skip button that we, um, you know, our gimme or thing that we could use because it, we did not solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, it's kind of like why I don't care for crossword puzzles because I think crossword puzzles are totally pretty much reliant on information that you have to know beforehand and bring into them. Mm. Um, there's... Uh, not entirely, of course, because sometimes letters can line up and you could get clues and stuff. But if you don't know what the second most popular sitcom in 1953 was, <laughs> the, the yeah. main actress of, well, of it, there's just no way you could possibly ever figure it out based on the crossword puzzle. You would just, you just, you're done. Which is, it's fine, its own thing, but it's just one of the reasons I don't care for crossword puzzles myself. Um, someone said, Dad, does your dad still play those old school puzzle games that require you to fill notebooks with clues? No, not anymore. Uh, mostly because he's just, he does other things now. He's learning an instrument and he's really busy with so just other stuff. But yeah, he was big onto Riven, Myst, Exile, um, Pegasus Prime. There was Time Lapse was one of my favorites. But yeah, these old school computer puzzle games... He was big into them. He really, really liked them. But yeah, he'd have notebooks where he would write down things to remember himself because this was the days where having a notebook application and a screenshot stuff on your computer was just not a thing. And so you'd have your, you, you, you'd have a notepad and he'd write stuff down. And he really, really liked uh, a lot of these games, played through a bunch of them. Do you think Hassan sees American Psycho as a good comedy? Um, I doubt he has any clue what's happening in that, in that film. I'm sorry. Come on, guys. The sun streams are just like EFAP, but without effort, talent, passion, intelligence, humor, and worst of all, without a doggo. Hi, Rags. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Well, he has that one little animated one in the bottom yeah. left or whatever. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, it's it probably is the best part of his stream, though. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, that's cute. And then it goes away, and you're like, oh, no, don't leave me. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. 
This one just says yes. Yes! All right. Hassan teaches on the perilous edge of life and death every stream. Yeah. Nice. Remember, that was the argument that made Denim say... All right, that was a bad argument. It was the one where Hassan went too far where he said, what do you want me to do, die? Just that's how you know how bad it was. What would you like me to do? Die? Would you like me to cease? Um, what do I do? Melt Kangas Picarius. Oh my god, it really has been like a year since Loki. It hurts my soul. Those it hurts fierce. my very soul. <laughs> Hassan, what was I supposed to do? Die? Jonathan. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hey, don't yell at Hassan just because he's a little slow. Something was said. Not good. Don't yell at Hassan. No, okay. No, slow. They called you slow. How dare you call me that? Oh, that's a Simpsons reference. I, uh, I, I get it. Homer has that series of thoughts, but that's kind of... I don't know. Homer's a little bit smarter than Hassan, like, let's be fair. Yeah. I'll be bringing him down like that. Uh, the dude smells of boiled hot dog. Boiled hot dog. I mean, it's pretty, it's it? not a really... Is that a... a boiled hot dog smell isn't, like, bad. It's just it's pretty neutral. It's like a slight meatish sort of smell, but it, you'd probably get a very similar smell if you boiled different, yeah, like uh, some other kinds of meats, but... I mean, it's not, like, a bad smell. If someone said you smelled like a boiled hot dog, I wouldn't... I wouldn't consider it an insult. Just like, oh, did I... Maybe I ate something, or there's, like, a faint aroma of, like, meat on me. It's not a particularly biting insult. I'm just trying to think of, like, is that smell something people even typically use as an insult ever? I think that's the first time I've ever heard it. It's like a, you smell yeah, like I'm... boiled hot dogs. Yeah, like, I don't know. Huh. All right, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a mystery. Um, hey, oh, uh, Adam and Sitch, not Sam and Max Freelance Police? Well, that's close enough, isn't it? Sam, Max, Adam, and Sitch. Same thing. Sam, Max, Adam, and Sitch. Max Sam, and Adam, Sam, and Sam, and Adam. You can become so constipated that it comes out your mouth. Can you? I mean... Well, they said the relevance to this is that Hassan um, is left as an exercise to the reader. Oh, they're saying, like, it's up to you to figure out why he would have said that. And it's like, I, I understand. But, um, I hope that's not true. Jesus. Like, it, it, it just goes up the other way, because the body's like, nah, this ain't happening. Facial, fecal vomiting is a true phenomenon? Oh, no. Is it? I, I, I mean... Yeah, okay. South Park show, that's that, remember? You put food up, your butt comes out your mouth. Oh, this is saying you don't even have to do the butt food thing. It's, well, it's just, oh, wow, I didn't know about that. Yeah, I was gonna say, South Park never prepared us for this. No. Yeah, if that's a real thing, then I'm. That sounds awful. God damn. That I don't sounds want any horrible. of that. Yeah, yeah, that does sound yeah, Make sure you eat Surely your fiber, like, everyone, or something. You'd I don't think know. that <laughs> you'd die, right? Before, before it got thought, to that point, right? Does it, how does it get back up? Does it go back right, into you your stomach? Because it has. I, yeah, oh, it would have to. Because it. How could you possibly. Yeah, surely you would die before then. Then again, I mean, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe maybe there's something to it that I don't understand. It might be. I'm not a biologist. I'm not a biologist. That's true. I'm no biologist. Biologist. Scrycrologist. You can become. Oh yeah. Uh, the the BH plus goes to his head, and he isn't chewing gum. He's chewing what's left of his brain. Oh. Hmm. Uh, the comments are offering solutions, and he's saying, I can't do that because that's different than what I do. <laughs> yeah, pretty basically. Don't you guys see? 
Hassan is in a forced dyad with some random intellectual. A forced dyad. That was a great... When we read that in the in the leaks, it sounded so bullshit. And then he actually says it in the movie. A dyad in the force. <laughs> now to suck. Dumb people are always blissfully unaware of how dumb they really are. Patrick Star. It's a philosopher. Great one. Um, I don't think his name is Phil. Hassan is what you get when you let your kid eat paint chips after reading Das Kapital. Has he licked chalk on stream yet? Oh, probably. I don't know if there's any compilations that happen. Oh, why not? I would not be surprised. Yo, what's up? Mommy isn't here to make the chicken tandies. What do we do? We die. Oh, die. no. We die. It's what we do. And then you have the revolutionary that suggests, like, perhaps we ought to take away. Madness. Kill him. <laughs> Kill Madness. him. <laughs> Kill him. Uh, gimme gimme chicken tandies, be they crispy or from Wendy's. Spend my hard-earned good boy points on kids' meal ball pit burger joints. Oh, that's, oh, that sounds uh, fun. Yeah. That's neat. I appreciate that. I never learned that one. Um, if that's an, if one of those old things that, you know, kids... Yeah, it sounds do. like it's probably an actual thing. Uh, who's more lobotomized, Jebby or Hassan? Hassan, easily. Not even close. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my my uh, my computer did a little tism for just a second. What what was the question? Who was more lobotomized, Hassan or Jebby? Hassan. Yeah, that's what we said. It's yeah. like I don't even think it's close. She can like make videos. So yeah, I feel like she's already you know leagues ahead. Uh, Rags, the term you're looking for is interchange. There you go, Rice. That word you were looking for a year ago? Oh, all right. Uh, oh, I was probably talking about like a road system, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Maybe, maybe. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at Hassan's recent tweet about drunk driving. Oh, that wasn't. That's not a recent tweet anymore. Uh, Hassan, I'll be drunk driving tweet. Oh, boy. Beat side for that one. Hassan, I. Let me see images. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, you'd have to. If someone knew which one we're talking about, let me know. Um. Mm. Well, yeah, I, right. I don't know. You may wonder if Hassan is grown up. Then you hear sometimes my mom isn't there to make me chicken nuggies, and you realize no, no, he's not. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That's sad. How telling. The man who relies on his mother for feeding is the one advocating for socialist governments take away liberty and responsibility. <laughs> hey, look, he, he doesn't know how to cook the nuggies. That's the education system's fault for not teaching him how. I think there was, uh, I think in Florida, the, gover the governor there decided to make it mandatory for, in order for high school students to pass high school. They needed to take some financial literacy course that would teach you how to do things like taxes and know hmm. about money stuff. Which is probably good because that's very important and we should be teaching that to people. I, just, I remember in high school that we had cooking classes and I was like, it's good that this is a thing, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I never had one of those, but I think one of them was that maybe, I don't know, it always seemed like something that I could do. But it wouldn't be one of those things where I'd be opposed to teaching people how to... It's like a basic nutrition class mixed in with the cooking, you know? Yeah, because like, like, I think it even surprised me back it. then, because it was like a classroom that was fitted with like 20 plus stations. Each has an oven, a fridge, you know, uh, a hob, and, and uh, just an area to do like Wait, shopping and whatever. Wait, what's a hob? Else. Uh... What's that? What's, what's the what's the, the hob? A so H O B. But what what is what is what am I? What word would uh, you guys use? Uh, let, me, let me put hob in America. Um, no, not job in America. Show results for hob in America. 
Oh yeah, like a like a kitchen stove, a stove top or uh, a range. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. A um, hob. So, yeah, the, 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 like, and everyone got their own thing of that, and I was just like, damn, this must have cost money. <laughs> like, this is good. And I even learned a decent bit about cooking from that. Yeah, not a bad idea. Not mm -hmm. a bad idea. I've yet to learn, or well, yet to use trigonometry in my life, but I'm sure it's coming up. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that where you just forget it over time. As I was I gonna watch, say, I don't uh, know how to use it anymore anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm reminded of it in like flat Earth debates when they talk about like the math of that level, which isn't complex. You just forget about it. And so I realize that I've forgotten a lot of math because I never end up using it. So I still know how to put one and one together. Yeah, boy. That's good. Um, Sans mum washes his sausage. Um, he doesn't eat sausage. He eats nuggies. Yeah, I was gonna say that's just incorrect information. That's lies. That is a lot. Go fake lies. News. My nuggies. Fake news. I'm here against my will. He makes wipe his bummy. Bummy, hell no. Oh my goodness. Uh, no one. Absolutely no one. Uh, that's the end of the sentence. The next one is rags. You know guys, a clean chocolate starfish is important. <laughs> yeah, well he's right. Rags is correct. Absolutely. Hey Mola, you're straight. Oof. Yo. Wow. Has Hassan habitually put his brain power on low because he is surrounded by and followed by people who don't expect effort? The brain is a muscle that will atrophy. Uh, <laughs> You do wonder. You do wonder. It's just not getting much exercise, is it? Uh, Hassan being popular on Twitch is more evidence we're heading toward idiocracy. I don't even think that's a joke. Like, that's just... It's just worrying. Because, uh, usually, dare I refer to him as a thought leader, um, they're usually a lot more, um, first of all, charismatic. Like, where is that in his, uh, his streams, you know? He's just, he's often repulsive in terms of some of the stuff we saw, you know? Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. I really, I just do not see it. Flat out, I don't see it. Yeah, uh... Rags has left the stream. He better be watching on his phone. Well, hmm. Yeah, otherwise you're just stealing, man. Working in a sawmill for eight hours a day, I can confirm it's exhausting. Also, one out of the saws exploded last month. Oh, See, wow. I feel like if something's going to explode, you wouldn't want it to be a saw. Saw explosions seem definitely not good. I guess you don't want anything to explode, but, you know. No. Saws are definitely on the list of... Mm. Feels like you're entering into a Final Destination situation, and that saw is going right into you. Because death wants it to be that way. Um, in uh, the Virginia Hassan chat versus the Chad EFAP Uber chat. Oh yeah, obviously. Not even close. Hell, when we disagree with chat, we don't even ban them. Can you believe it? Wow, I can't. I can't believe it. That's Sometimes I'm right like, there. Whoa, I can't believe it. And yet we don't even disagree with him as much as Hassan seems to disagree with his. We gotta up our game. We really do. We're slacking. Uh, love you, Mola, but I gotta call back on Twitch having a diverse content as YouTube. It's socialist gamers reaction and hot tub streamers. Well, wait, did I say that Twitch is as diverse in content as YouTube? Because... I don't really see I, how that's even possible. I don't think... Because YouTube also does streaming, so... Yeah. Well, I, I just... I, that doesn't sound like something I think. So if it I did say that, then I disagree with me now. So. <laughs> um, yeah, YouTube oh. has always come across to me as more... Uh, there's just... I don't know. Like, t Twitch, unfortunately, follows trends like a crazy person. In terms of, like... How often does something like new and interesting come out of Twitch that's not just I'm doing the same thing but now I'm in a hot tub? 
<laughs> to be know. fair, that is a pretty, like, wow. <laughs> Am I right? True. Yeah, true. True. Ruh. Uh, Rags is back. How are the nuggies? Um, I don't think I had nuggies. No. Oh. But they were good. An analysis video is different than a reaction video. Um, I don't necessarily disagree, but I don't think I would hold it against someone to call, like, you know, like the classic vlog style, you chip in their video, then your reaction, then their video, then your reaction, versus a stream where you're reacting. I can see people putting it under the same umbrella. I would just be like, you know, there's a difference. Um, to be fair, there is a pretty significant difference between what we do and what Hassan does, even though I think most people would be like, yeah, but it's kind of the same thing, right? Uh, no. No. <laughs> In the spirit of Sitch's inner troll, I'm gonna do reaction videos to Mola's videos. Oh. Well, strap in. Hmm. Give me for a strap while. Strap on, everyone. A team smells faintly of. Wait, this isn't the Sitch and Adam show. S class is best class. Look, I, I, I'm not picking S-Class or A-Team. I'm letting them do their own thing. I, I don't want to take any team. This sounds hyper-politicized. I think it's one of the most talked about issues on Twitter. I just... I would rather avoid it. It's controversial. Adam and Sitch's friendship is at stake, okay? We can't have this. We don't want to come in between them? Mm-hmm. The Virgin Exposure Bucks versus the Chad Free Will. <laughs> exposure Bucks. <laughs> exposure Bucks is funny. Oh, uh, that's... It kind of... It is still probably one of my favorite clips of Hassan ever. The cutting himself off before he can finish that line. Mm, even he was smart enough to know that yeah. this is a no-no. This, this is going to make me look like an asshole. Damn. Uh -oh. it, uh, it's Hassan's mum's fault. If she cooked him his tandies, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I think I can agree with that. It's her fault. <coughs> If I don't exploit you, I suffer. Don't you guys understand? I suffer without mummy's chicken tandies. You hate to see it. See, because we, we talked about how he's smart enough to re recognize the, the payment one, but he wasn't smart enough to not say, bro, sometimes my mum is making me chicken, uh, and then sometimes she isn't able to, and thus I must steal your car. Like, I guess he just had no not enough awareness to detect how that sounds. I'm forced to steal your things because my mum won't make me food. When he's like fucking 30 or whatever. How old is Hassan? Does anyone know? Mentally no. or physically? Mainly looking for the uh, physical aging of the, his cells as opposed to... Because I, I wouldn't uh, want you to have to guess how old he is mentally. Oh yeah. I don't know if they've made numbers that low. No. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 35? 33? Right 33. 30, 33. Well... Man, 33 years on this planet and that's all he's got as a result, uh, as in experience-wise, apparently. Alright. Um, I suggest you react to Hassan's stream in retaliation, but his content is totally, totally worthless and devoid of insight. Oh yeah, we discover that when I chop out, like, the, the most interesting parts. And it's like, wait, where's the other several hours of stream? It's like, trust me. You don't want to see it. Hi, Rags. Hi there. How are you? Hi, Fringy. Hey. Hi, Longman. Hello. We should have a stream off between Hassan's chair and Moodle's chairly. Efap to decide oh, the redistributed re content. I think chairly wins easily. Like I think so too. Chairly does more work. Chairly's uh, been shown to. Yeah, Hassan's um, chair just fucking sits there like a chair. But Charlie? Charlie is an active participant in the streaming space. I'm pretty sure Charlie has a kill count, so... Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> I'm uh... pretty sure Charlie has a kill count. Yeah, you know, in terms of work done. Uh, I just finished watching Season 3, Episode 10 of Breaking Bad, The Fly. Walter White and Jesse reduced to idiocy, and guess who directed it? The Roundhead himself. To be fair, Jesse's not an idiot in that episode, is he? And Walter's, like, running on 30 hours of being awake. It's a weird episode, and people often cite it as the worst one. I think I've said before, I'm not even sure how I feel about it exactly. 
Um, Me neither. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, just as a refresher to anybody who doesn't know, it's the only episode of Breaking Bad where basically nothing progresses. Um, you, but to be fair, well, I say nothing progresses. You get to you get a little insight into the characters, and it's an experience yeah. they have together. But what I'm suggesting is that they're basically trapped in a room for the whole episode, and it comes across as an episode they may have made because they did they needed one more to fill some kind of quota, maybe. Because I, I don't know if it achieves enough for me to be convinced that this was something they planned from the beginning. It's a bit of a weird episode. Basically, a fly is in their, their cooking station. Uh, Jesse doesn't yeah. give a shit, but Walter says that uh, if the fly... Well, the fly being present contaminates the entire batch. And that's unacceptable. And so he spends like the whole episode trying to, s to swat it unsuccessfully. Uh, until like right at the end, I think. But um, gradually over time, he's... Um, from the smell of like the different things they're hanging to try and kill the fly, the lack of sleep, and his guilt over Jane. He says some stuff that's interesting, I suppose, but it's just an episode that people don't typically like. Mainly because I assume fucking nothing really happens in it. Uh, Plot-wise, dare I say. And it is a strange episode, but it's also directed by Ryan Johnson, yeah. Um, but to be fair... He Ozymandias. Yeah, he directed what is considered one of the greatest episodes of TV, so... You know. This is the thing, I... I have tended to not chew on him too much for his not, directing. He is not devoid of talent. I've said before... Just don't let him ride. <laughs> I'll say again, uh, it's, this isn't even just a matter of, like, it was competent directing. I remember thinking when I watched uh, Ozymandias for the first time that the directing in it specifically was really good. Like the yeah. cinematography yeah. and just the cohesion of the episode, so. Yeah, just don't let him pen the script. Don't let him anywhere near the script. What would you... So, let's say that we were talking earlier about our movies that we might make, our movie ideas. Uh-huh. Let's combine, let's combine some things, right? You get uh, given all the money and funding and everyone you need to make that movie, but... The stipulation is that Zack Snyder needs to be involved in that project. What <laughs> do you let him do? What aspect do you give him? I'm just gonna uh, make him the lowest and most right. useless role possible, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> if I can make well, him like I mean, a, uh, what is his a, strength? Like, can he be one of the people on set? Can he be like a grip or a uh, or a sound a, guy? A from Michael, uh, I believe grips are the ones who operate the lighting. Okay. Um, I thought that was just a general tim for the people Michael who have to hold whatever needs to be held, like. Even the oh, boom mic maybe. and stuff. I don't, I don't. I might be wrong. That's what um, came to my mind. Well, I guess that's what I'm saying. If I can have him do a job on set, then that's fine with me. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna manipulate around it until I assume there's a spirit to your question. Like, do I have to make him something significant? Or? Like a writer. Or a he needs to or a be. He needs to be of importance. I guess I'll say yeah. not to be too specific. What, okay. what do you sort of let him have control uh, over, or He can do? be a producer, because then I'll just get another producer. <laughs> hmm. I'll have more than one. Well, hmm. Interesting to make him produce though, because presumably he would have some power over decisions at that point. Ah, uh, he would have some power, but he wouldn't be in charge fully of the creative aspect. Like, he wouldn't be doing the script. If I had to pick between, like, a writer, director, or producer, that would be what I'd give him. Again, I'd just be like, I'm assuming Rags, you... You want to provide the limitations on what we're allowed to make him? You have to... He needs to be involved enough that the PR is such that everyone thinks that he is a significant... He has a significant role to play in the production. So he would have to be a director, writer, or producer then, is what you're saying? Uh, maybe. What else would you be citing other than actor at that point in terms of a significant public? Also, if we could make him an actor, I totally fucking would. Yeah, if I could I put can control him, an him then. Well, I, I wonder how, he's, how he is acting. Because he seems to be a nice, charismatic guy, so maybe acting is. Maybe. Because he. Uh, maybe, does he look a little bit like Do Gray Scott? Not really. Not to not me, at all, but. Actually. Yeah. I think they could be like brothers. I think they uh, they could be brothers. I could totally believe if you said DeGray Scott and uh, Zack Snyder, they're actually like legit brothers. I'd be like, oh, okay, I see it. All right. Uh... All right. Uh, 
Hassan is like, how dare you make me feel bad for being a thief? Pretty much. Kind of, yeah. Hassan... Very misplaced indignation. <laughs> Hassan is a dial tone of a person. <laughs> <laughs> a dial tone made flesh. It's audiences like Hassan's that make me wonder why I put effort into anything I make sometimes. Oh, you put in effort regardless, right? Yeah, the effort is the, its own reward. You... Love of the craft, yeah. Because if you go by... You put in the effort for accolades and fame and attention. Otherwise, yeah, that's the thing. Like, if you difficult. If you encourage a world of, like, go by what everyone reacts to it with, like, Hassan is making some of the best content in the world. And it's like, no, yeah. not having that world. Mm -hmm. That ain't it. Chief. You guys are overthinking... For a second, I was like, uh, oh, okay. You guys are overthinking Twitch. Get a game, City Skyline, Sims, etc. Get the game to a certain point, then leave it up all night watching people wander around. Eight hours of content. I mean, you could do that, yeah. Yeah, definitely something you could do. Also be original content. <laughs> I guess oh, so, yeah, yeah, because you would have been your city, <laughs> so. Yeah. Um... Hassan has just been told by his chat that EFAP is critiquing his video and said, Okay, left his seat, leaving redistributed content playing in the background. Well, because he didn't know at that point what we were even criticizing him for, probably. <laughs> I don't think he still knows. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, to be fair, he would just do that anyway. He's probably still doing that to this day. He's gotten away with it, you know, for the most yeah. part. Oh, oh, yeah. He, he, needs he will not stop until change. he has to. Yeah. Because, like... We know it's wrong. He's got no moral counter to it being wrong, but there's no pressure to do anything, so why stop? Which is an unfortunate um, sort of reality, but that is how a lot of people will engage with uh, this sort of stuff. Life. Yeah, life. Uh, if you do speak to him, can you please ask him to pause less? He pauses too much, thanks. Hmm. Sure. I'll let him know. Could you imagine if after coverage he was like, I'd like to speak to you on your EFAP stream? I would I would probably tell you guys beforehand, just be like, look, this guy is so fucking stupid. We're gonna have to I don't even know. Like, should we get flashcards? Maybe even <laughs> <laughs> flashcards. Yo, just hearing that word takes me back. <laughs> How else do to, we like, communicate with this beast? And... <laughs> like it's <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with the we'll Like, no, 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 bad, bad. Steel content, bad. We could see if he could fight a bear. Yeah, ask him what his opinions is, uh, are on that. Finally. Also, one of Hassan's S word DM'd me on Twitter for defending Jay. Said Jay was harassing people by responding to them on Twitter. Whoa. Hope to wow, see the same Jay. cast. On the Sunday live stream, my f top five favorite on YouTube, also high ranks. Oh, hello there. We are very glad that you like it. Yeah, man, there's, there's loads of harassment going on all day, every day, everywhere with the whole everyone talking to each other thing. It's fucked. Can something be done to prevent humans from engaging in such behavior? I don't know. Yeah, this can't be allowed. Stop harassing me, what the fuck? Mel's harassed, look at him. Stop it. He so, did it again. He's so harassed right now. Nah. What can be done? Done about this. I guess I'll die. I was gonna die. That was your fault, person who said something to Mel. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm dead. Shame. It is Hassan's arrogance you hear, not stupidity. Hi, Rags. Hi. I don't know. I think it's a stupidity too. Come on. He is pretty stupid. Do not forget. Mm-hmm. The difference between streaming a game and commenting on a video is Moore's point on Dying Light being a horror movie versus video game. I haven't even played Dying Light. Did I say that about Dying Light? Uh, sorry, what was that? Moore's point on Dying Light being a horror movie versus video game. I don't remember you saying that, but I don't even know if it was on that stream when it happened, so... Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Um, hey at the Butter Anvil. Is Rags and his sidekick Mola finally coming onto the Adam and Sitch show? Give him an invite already. Rag taggers represent. We did go on, Hi. actually. There is an episode we with me and Rags on, yeah. on it, yeah. 
I think I've been on like three of their streams. Uh, they said they want us for a Fight Club one someday. Who knows when? Uh, oh man, Chain Chomp outplays the uh, little iceberg things. So we understand that power level. Mm -hmm. The jab in his brain is trying. It's trying so hard to turn that wheel, but it's rusted and the jab is unwatered. Yeah. Very clear. Which goes against a lot of the standard advice you get from medical professionals, but then, you know, that's fine. That's how you want to live your life, you know? This just says he was almost there. I don't know, I don't know what, the, uh, what that refers to. I don't, yeah, I actually don't know. But he was almost there. Hey, hey, cartoonist. All right. I, I, I don't know. Uh, greetings, EFAPers. Listen well if you're able. I fear Hassan's Jeb is severely disabled. He is the clout giver, at least in his mind. Uh, putting him out of his suffering would surely be kind. His thought train is silent, and with barely a sigh, without his tendies, he withers and dies. Hmm, that was poetic. Beautiful. And accurate. Uh, he sounds like a puppet for his chat. I don't know, man. Fucking the Times chat is uh, annihilated by him. And he seems to get more pleasure the more time they've spent supporting his channel. Very weird. This one just says oh, F. It's twisted. Ah, yes, F. Presumably they just watched someone get banned. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Based Sanfu martyred themselves for the cause. Yes, this is when he started banning people. Hassan is such a child mentality. He is a child mentality. He is the child mentality. He's like the noise, the dial tone, yeah. This is how Twitter uses brains work too, by the way. Rip Snafu. Yeah, Snafu was one of the people who got banned, so sorry. Perhaps they found a better streamer. Who knows? I hope so. I hope things are working out for him. I hope that this was the first step in a journey that takes him to better places. Perhaps they found just another streamer, in which case they definitely did find a better streamer, right? That's true. That's true. Based Snafu got ice picked. Dang. Yep. Down for the count. Uh, what do people get from watching Hassan? Easy answer, Rags. To protect their sense of entitlement onto something who hates the same people they do. Also, high rags. Hello. Yeah, there's definitely the the uh, the, the standard um, appeal you will have that a lot of channels do, where they just reaffirm a perspective. But you do wonder if it's self-sustaining uh, at some point. That it's like a lot of people are here, and this is the kind of stuff I like. So I guess I'll be here now. When it's, you know yeah. What I mean? it's like, How yeah. enthusiastic can you remain about that? Maybe. Because I know I just can't. Oh god. There's only so much that I can take myself. Snafu's sacrifice will not be in vain. Snafu Twitch deleted. He quit Twitch after. Oh. Hmm. Hopefully, I bet he made another account. Oh, which went to YouTube. Fuck it. <laughs> Probably already had a YouTube, actually, yeah. Um, Hassan is literally just Wings of Redemption and DSP level now, banning anyone who disagrees with him. He is as lol cowable as them. Um, the thing is, like, he's he's got way more... I think he even says this, doesn't he? Like, uh, that he's not going to have the same experience as them because he has a way bigger audience. And uh, it's just kind of like, well, yeah. Because uh, a lot of people who are around for DSP and Wings of Redemption are looking to get reactions out of them. While his chat are looking to be like, you're so great. That fucking clip, man, where he reads a chat out that says, like, you had really great points, you did great, you're a great person, you have lots of insight, and thank you for the stream. And he just goes, yeah, yeah, I agree. Or something like that. And it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> like okay, I'll calm down. I just, I, just, I just love the idea that he'll read out something critical, be fucking pissed, read out something that praises him, and just be like, true. True. I am the greatest. Snafu's... Oh, wait, yeah. Hashtag snafu for EFAP. I'm afraid we don't even know where they are. Hopefully they have Maybe fun. it's best that they remain out of the spotlight for a while, you know? 
find themselves, find where they need mm -hmm. to go. Some journeys, you know, you gotta let people go on. Yeah. Uh, X, I know you're listening to this. Let me multi-class Tad into Aberrant Mind Sorcerer. We're fighting Lovecraftian horrors. We need our own physics. I'm sure all of you understood that, yeah? I wasn't even mm. listening, but I agree. I do agree. That's mm. something worth considering, really. Yeah. Screw Hassan. Truly a trash human being. Man, people were very much... Not you happy with like Hassan. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not a fan. A lot of these people aren't a fan. Rip Snafu, 731, never forget. Oh, yeah, there he goes. No, I'm totally not doing the crazy thing of watching EFAP 1, 50, and 100 in preparation for 150. Mmm, that's, uh, that's quite an undertaking. Yeah, a lot of hours. Quite a pilgrimage, brother. And we're not even that far away from 200. Yeah, and yet. Adam and believe it. <laughs> Get it? Uh, no. Oh. That doesn't make no sense to me. I don't know. This just proves the bad guys in movies who kill their henchmen randomly are actually realistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. There is something to that. Maybe. Based it all on the sun. It's all coming together. Look here. Look, listen. Jay's name appeared on screen for like a millisecond, and that's credit. So stop talking shit you don't know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> He's such hmm. a funny character. Oh, yeah. Just the look here, look, listen. It's, it's just... <laughs> when he's like playing COD or whatever and someone in the fucking lobby plays that through their microphone, the look here, look, and he just mutes them, he's like... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, Wings. A legend in the gaming space. Damn, I nailed that bomb shot. Remember, it doesn't matter who you are. The gulag comes for everyone eventually. The collective deems you die for wrong things. Snafu deserved better. Rip. In peace, Snafu. Snafu's account. We did it, Sitch. We found Hassan's uh, editor. It's Mauler. Oh, yeah. I did more editing on Hassan's video than Hassan's probably ever done for uh, anything ever. Probably. Justice for Snafu, hashtag, yeah. Hassan is a person who would justify the NKVD, it's pathetic. Uh, I think that's the North Korean thing. Oh. The crowns are given to the highest donators, Mauler. Oh, on Twitch, that's how they do it. Alrighty. Yeah. He might have just made an origin to a villain. Hassan? I mean... I don't know if that would be a particularly interesting villain origin, is it? Oh, does he or mean Snafu? Snafu's got a villain origin. By... Yeah, that could be something. Snafu had 10 followers and one sub, by the way, at the time. Down he goes. Comrade Snafu, it. you have been sentenced to Siberia for counter-revolutionary sentiment. General Secretary Hassan can do no wrong. Sure, there are many who think that. Oh yeah. It's unfortunate. Hashtag kick Hassan. Jay doesn't deserve the kick. Snafu is done but not forgotten. These are all great hashtags. I think we should keep them in a flow. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's important to remember. Hassan having money is proof that capitalism failed. <laughs> I think you mean meritocracy failed. Meritocracy. <laughs> Capitalism, if anything, it just shows that anybody can get to the top. Yeah. Whether they deserve it or not. If you are a Hassan sub, snore Safu getting banned and didn't cancel your subscription, Google Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, it's, you know, they, they could just be like, I don't care or whatever, but like, you, you then just want to ask. It's not the day, so it's fine. You want to ask the more fundamental question, just like, what are you enjoying here? What is it? Tell me the answers. Yeah, what is it about Hassan that you just really like? His unique selling point is, you know, such insights, right? What does he mm -hmm. offer me that nobody else offers me? I have returned from <laughs> the Archcast. Hello. Hi. 
Hi, Rags, Mooley, and Fringo. Hello. Hello yeah. to you. Hi. I had to stop watching EFAP at work because I was too engaged and time would pass too slowly. Production lines will suck. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> like, we don't want to be too engaging. I would fuck every little. But, uh, hope you're doing alright. Australia doesn't exist. It's a lie created by emus and Australians in order to trick USP into delivering extended delivery times. Don't buy into it. What? Oh, sorry. Austrians, not Australians. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a bit weird. Australians made it up. Like, wait, so... <laughs> why are they called Australia? Um, Hassan banning that guy for something he agreed with sounds like something Dr. Robotnik would do to Scratch and Grounder. I don't even know who Scratch and Grounder are. Fringy, explain to us who Scratch and Grounder are. I have no idea. What? Metal, who's Scratch and Grounder? Who am I supposed to scratch? I'm, I was writing. Grounder. Grounder? Uh, you're grounded, I'm gonna scratch your knees. Mm hmm That's Franklin's, uh, character. Saturday morning cartoon villain style. That's, that's from the Sonic yeah. TV show. Okie dokie. Uh, listen to a Peter Zihan lecture on YouTube for some cliff notes on his perspective. I don't agree on everything he says, but he has some choice info. Fair enough. Uh, what if someone installed Hassan's brain into yours? I would be a much happier person, presumably. Probably. Just, yeah, I wouldn't. Think so much, the world's just so much simpler. Oh, blessed <laughs> simple world. Yes. The primary lesson I learned from Deus Ex is that prosthetics and implants shouldn't be remotely accessible. Try telling that to my old bosses at Boston Scientific, though. I, uh, I'm not sure that I... I don't know that Definitely that's... Don't I doubt agree that's the message. That. Well, Deus Ex doesn't... Re no, it's... I, I wonder which one he's referring to, because, I mean, the ending of, like, Deus Ex 1, the ending that kind of, like, makes the most sense narratively is the Machine God ending. Um, and, I mean, like, in Human Revolution, Mankind Divided, a lot of what Adam's capability to even, like, help people and, and try and save the world is stems from his augmentations. Presented as bad when, um... After the the incident that um all of the people have got augmentations are sort of just as like there's a lot of stigma against it, and I mean as for them in general, I don't I'm not opposed to, I think they're really cool at personally, like a robot arm sounds awesome, robot legs hell yeah. Someone said it's a joke. It's like the thing is I, with I, how it's written, you, know, you can't tell. So but it's text, so yeah. Guys, uh, I've seen people put in a couple today that have a slash S on it. It's like, you might not want to put that there, but if you don't, we can't tell the difference between mm. joke or not. I mean, sometimes you can tell, but the, the, I don't know with this one, the way it's written, I'm not sure. I think you guys already know about this, but did you hear the news, what Chris Chan did to his own mother? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So anyway, <laughs> hacking a neural lace would be the equivalent of hacking someone's keyboard. Sure, the keyboard is useless now, but it doesn't affect your brain. I have no idea why this is coming up. Did we talk about keyboards and neural laces? Hmm, I don't know. Perhaps. I didn't. Uh, when you guys getting academic agent on the show, he and Fringy would have interesting discussions. Oh, Who's so sorry? wouldn't have interesting discussions with anyone else, huh? Academic mm. agent? You're so boring, oh. actually. I know. Why would it be me specifically as, a, as opposed to everybody? Maybe he's green? No, if we want to just have conversations on what it means to be green. Maybe. Just insight that me and Rags and by extension metal, you know, he's not green. Like we just can't have. Don't know. Don't have. Okay. What does it mean to be green? Also, I shall be in back. Green face. You guys go right ahead. I'll be as quick as I can. Oh boy. And then <laughs> then comes the silence. You know, I'm just I'm looking at the screen now and I'm thinking about, I'm looking at that GameCube controller. I remember at the time that that came out, a lot of people didn't like it compared to the PlayStation, like the DualShock 2. Alright, no, it's the DualShock, wait, or was the DualShock the first one on the PlayStation 2? I remember people not liking it, but it feels like everybody's come around on the GameCube. It's a super interesting controller, it's like unconventional, but still comfortable. Not like the, uh, 
the the uh what was it called the duke the x the original xbox one that was like a chungus Feels like we've gotten a lot better at just making controllers now. Like, uh, all of the weird experimentation and awkwardness that came with a lot of the earlier controllers is just kind of gone. They've all essentially turned into the same thing. They've all defaulted to basically, like, the Xbox... Xbox sort of controller. Um... It's one floor is the bumpers. Um... Only having uh, one small right-hand bumper. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably... But I guess it was... um, I guess it's kind of... The um, Z button, right? On the GameCube controller. Yeah. I think the thing is, is it's hard to think about it now because it's kind of... um. I remember, like, you know, it, 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 it came later on, a lot of these standard conventions of controls. They kind of shifted over from, like, 6th to 7th gen. I remember, like... I mean, it might just be because of my memory of Ratchet and Clank, but I remember a lot of games would use, like, the circle button as shooting. I think uh, San Andreas, like, Grand Theft Auto, I think it was circle. I think it was, like, it was, yeah, you tapped X to sprint, and then it was uh, square to jump, and circle would be fire. I think it had alternate fire button, but it was only, like, in 7th gen that um the triggers kind of took on that role. Um, like, the triggers now are super important, um for controllers when they didn't used to be. And I think it clearly influenced the design of the controllers at the time. Um, I mean, just look at the N64 controller and how far we've come since that was just a thing that they did, you know? Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that controller was bizarre. I never really That understood. is a bizarre controller, yeah. I never got why it was designed that way. Uh, which I guess is funny when it, the one that came before it was so simple. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it was so simple. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's almost like if you have an icon of a controller, it's often the SNES controller because it's just so um, universally like, oh yeah, that's I a think, controller. I think it would either be the SNES controller or like the I guess Xbox. the sort of the hodgepodge the Xbox of like the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, that's what everybody because like the Nintendo Switch Pro controller is basically an Xbox controller. The new PlayStation Five controller is basically an Xbox controller. Like, um, I don't know, that just seems to be, like, the right form factor for the majority of people. But, I mean, as for, like, any new features, isn't the big thing with, like, the, it's the dual sense, right? Is, uh, the adaptive triggers, and it's, like, depending on the sensitivity. Or, like, it's hypersensitive in terms of, uh, recognizing that. But, I mean, the number of games are actually going to use it as kind of, like, the touchpad on the, on the PS4 controller. It's, like, no games used it after, like, two years. It was just gone. All these stupid gimmicks. Remember Connect? Do you remember that? I do Connect. remember Connect. They pushed that, that shit hard. I remember when they, they said that, that really you hard. could not separate Connect from the Xbox 360. They were together. Yeah. They were one they thing. Did, they did say that, that they would never do it. And then what was it? Four months later, it's like, oh yeah, now we're gonna decouple them. It's like, yeah, you know what, Microsoft, I think that's a good idea. Because no one liked um, that shit. Well, because they, they they dedicated like two or three E3s to just hardcore pushing uh connect on Xbox 360, and then and then like they did it again. It was like this one thing they just couldn't let go of. It was really funny. That was a um, that was a that was not a great era <laughs> in terms of um, like that time when everybody wanted to do motion controls. Um. Do you prefer the analog sticks in the configuration of Xbox or PlayStation? I think at this point I prefer the Xbox configuration. Um, if you asked me I like six, do. seven years ago, I probably would have said I prefer the PlayStation one, but I uh, I do like the... I, I really like the Xbox controller. Um, the Xbox One controller is cool. Oh yeah, by the way, I played a couple of rounds of Halo and I think I'm already done. <laughs> I, uh, it's yeah, not been, why is that? Uh, I don't know, it's just, um, it's like, yeah, King of the Hill, that's neat that it's here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, it's just, um, I don't know that I'm finding it, like, when I played it, it didn't feel too dissimilar from what I'd played, you know, a couple of months ago when I last played it. Maybe I need to get a match on the new map. Maybe I need to try out the other game mode, the new one, like, last spot and standing, but I guess it's still a matter of, um, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I just, uh... I don't know. Maybe yeah, not sure. today. Maybe maybe if I play it later today, I'll feel different or like tomorrow or something. But um, yeah, maybe the itch hits you. Maybe, but um, 
Because I played a decent amount of that game when it came out, but I haven't played it for months, and it's like, man, Mario Kart's just so much easier to justify playing. Way more maps, just more fun. I've been having, yeah. We'll I just see, get though. these desires to play certain kinds of games, like when I'm laying in bed and I'm, I just want to kind of play something. Sometimes there's just a part of me that goes, I really want to just do this in a game, and then I'll do it. And then maybe it'll stick, and maybe it won't. But yeah, sometimes you don't know. Like, uh, I got the itch to... Just randomly, I was laying in bed. I, I woke up, and I was still in bed, and I was thinking, man, I, I really want to play Protoss in StarCraft 2. And then I just did, and I'm doing it now. And I'm just like, you just get those itches. And he's like, you should do this. That would, yeah, no, that'll I, be I, great. That'll be fun. I so can I'm relate to now. that. And I guess I'm not in the, uh, the, sh the, the phase of wanting to play Halo, the itch. I yeah. don't know. Just playing there. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe maybe that'll change in time. Uh, Fringy showing his age, you know, bad games recently wandering around without, uh, with no goal. Oh, do you mean just like with, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what, what the popular games are now. It's like Counter-Strike, right? Which, I think I played that a little bit once, but like, barely, and that was years ago. I don't. I haven't played Warzone. I haven't played like Apex in a long time either. Um, yeah, I certainly haven't played Destiny. This is what I mean. You look at the top games on Steam. It's like, yep, you got all your standard ones. Where where is Halo? What what rank is Halo at this point? It's uh oh no, it's not on page fifty. Um, uh, or like rank fifty. Where where are we? Oh, it's not. Wow, wow. <laughs> Uh, Halo Infinite is 79th top played game on Steam. Left 4 Dead 2 has it. more people playing it. What does? Left 4 Dead 2. Oh yeah, it's Left 4 like, Dead 2's. It's just, it's just a power high. It's just, it, it's eternal. More people yeah. are playing Bloom Power Defense 6. <laughs> I played that as fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure it is really fun. More people are playing Stellaris. More people are playing City Skylines, Fallout 4, No Man's Sky. Man. I'm sure they're really happy. I'm sure. I'm sure. Bunch, uh, not bunch. <laughs> I'm sure 343 three are real happy with the numbers that they're getting for that game. Mm. That's a catastrophe, right? I, yeah, I don't see how it could be categorized as anything but. I'd love to know, like, you what kind of that many um, people. What left. kind of loss we're dealing with there, or they're dealing with rather? Because well, it's like you've lost like 90% of your players. How are you gonna? And and. You're only at 90% now with a new season that, you know, is this is all you're getting for another six months. It's like, oh man, imagine that's, what it's that's gonna look like. That's staggeringly un... Yeah, that's the thing that can kill a lot of games, is that even if the game's good, I don't blame anyone who says, but there's nothing else coming. And that kind of impacts my ability to enjoy it. Of course, just, so... I'm gonna get bored eventually. Yeah, I got, I got bored of the game pretty quickly. I, was just like, I got bored of Halo yeah. pretty darn quick too. Like, it was... Fine, but I, like, dude, I get more that. consistent enjoyment out of replaying Mario Kart Double Dash. How does that explain anything? Yeah, it's Mar me for Mario Kart 8. I've been playing that a lot. It's like, yeah, it's, just... it's a very dynamic game that shifts every time you play a, a map. It's like, I don't know. And in the case of like Mario Kart 8, how many maps have we got right now? Like 56. <laughs> you know? Jesus, it's yeah, like, yeah. The yeah. 16 for Double Dash, which feels like a lot. Yeah, it felt like a lot at the time. I mean, to be fair, it still is a decent amount of content. Yeah. yeah. If I could count the, all the people who've gotten mad because I stopped them stealing from a place I work, you'd be less surprised at the degeneracy rampant in today's society. Um, yeah, I mean, again, it's a, it depends on, it's like if someone's trying to steal something that's fallen out of a packet, like maybe a tiny thing, like, eh, but then it like gets ramped up. Up and up and up. You're like, oh no. Or we not steal that TV. This has a negative effect on the society that you live in. You should be careful when you take things that aren't yours. It might encourage people to think it's okay to take your stuff. And I don't think you will enjoy that when it's yours. I think I mentioned to you guys, the, my boss in the toy store had to chase somebody who was trying to steal a PS4. Nice. Damn. Running with the box and they got outside into the car park and he like ran after them and I was like, oh my god. 
Dad. <laughs> I really Where want that, that PS4. <laughs> Neural Link comes out, and Todd Howard immediately announces Skyrim Neural Link Edition. Nice. Are people still playing Skyrim? Do they still love it? Probably. I'm sure enough people probably play Skyrim. I never did. I can check on Steam Chart. Let me do that. Let me check on Steam Charts. Um, I want to guess? Honestly, I... I have no clue what it may or may not... Um, give me an idea of what... Where's, um... Where's CSGO at? Number one. CSGO is yeah, numbers. currently peak players. Let's see, top games by current players. Counter-Strike is number one. It currently has 578,000. I'm going to guess current, right 50, now. 50k for Skyrim, I guess. Yeah? I'm going to guess... For Skyrim, I'm going to guess 35,000. I'm going to guess 10,000. Mel doesn't get a guess. Metal doesn't get a guess. Do you um, want to guess? I'm sorry, I'm writing shit down. I was listening. <laughs> uh, how many people do you think are currently playing Skyrim right now on Steam? Skyrim? Uh, I don't know, like 7,000? Oh, there you go. We got the full breadth of the guesses. I feel like someone's oh, got to be right. There is. Well, currently, the, the, well, let's say the 24 hour peak was 19,233. Damn. Oh, okay. So who's closest? I said I 10, was the twenty uh, fifty. Yeah, I, so I said thirty-five. So I think closest. Fringy's closest. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, um, I think it's interesting too because the all-time peak, you'd think it'd be higher, but it was um, it's seventy thousand. It was the all-time peak on Steam. Oh, that didn't surprise me. But um, yeah, I was about to say that was a long time ago. Well, it's 2011. Um, yeah, that was when 11 years was ago. Growing, but it, it it wasn't at the stage it is now, where it is like the mainstream sort of uh, way that people play video games. I was thinking about that sort of in relation to. I see a lot of. I still occasionally see like stuff that's very reminiscent of the discussions that you would see in like 2013, 2014, on like the console war and stuff. And it always feels so like. Man, guys, you 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 just like a uh, kind of not familiar with the landscape as it exists right now. It's very different from what you're imagining. Um, there is a whole world of video games beyond like Sony and Microsoft. Um, yeah, you did get that impression that. often. Their whole world was consoles, and they well, yeah, really didn't they're... understand that the PC, especially internationally, PC absolutely dominated internationally. Oh. It's the problem that they have where it's like, oh man, like Spider-Man PS... Now, Spider-Man PS4 is a very successful game. It sold like 20 million copies, but I would hasten to guess that League of Legends makes more money like every three months than that game generated in net profits for Sony. And it's just yeah. like, why is that? It's like, well, it's because even like those numbers, it's like, that's really good. It's dwarfed by like the numbers of the most popular games on PC. Um, and like and a, a lack awareness of this landscape kind of leaves you it's the reason why people are like wait but sony's sony bought bungie and now they want to have 10 live service games in 2026 it's like yes because you, i don't know you you think that like the bank. last of us who is like the peak of like how much money you can make and like the act you know like it's it's kind of this almost lack of awareness of the reality of this landscape which is ever kind of yeah you feel a little ever. yeah they get a little echo chamber isolated -y. Yeah, I think so. Um, they think that, I don't know. It's just um, the it's most kinda... popular games are not single player third person action adventure games. They are multiplayer games. They are, and they have been for like a decade at this point. It's kind of crazy that like something like League of Legends probably makes more money in a month now than Halo will now make. Probably. Until the end of yeah. time, presumably. Um, depending on how they release stuff for this game, but just judging from how we've gone so far. Well, I'm pretty sure Halo Infinite made him a lot of money in the first few months, but as for now, you know, it's probably a lot less. Yeah, I think that was very front-loaded in terms mm -hmm. of w what they got out of Halo. Probably, and I, I guess it's a matter of, well, invest it well, because the, the stream of income is probably not going to be as uh, substantial going forward. What's the funny thing is, though, like, even with this next little bit of content they've released, if the game released today... As it is now with all those delays, do you think it would be better or much worse? Like uh, in terms like, of perception, because of the extra delay. 
Um, I think the perception hmm, would be uh, damaging to some extent, but I don't know that it would be. Uh, I don't know that they'd be worse off long term. I'm not sure because I guess it it would still come across as an empty game, right? It would, because this is still not enough content. Um, and if you had to wait another six months still for Forge and Campaign Co-op, you know? It's yeah. like Campaign Co-op's still not ready. Damn, that feels so weird that a game is releasing in pieces. Yeah, and it's like not full. early access or anything. This is just a no, game. this is the full release. We saw it all. We lived through it all, all the phases of this industry. I was there! I was there! I was there, there 3,000 years ago. <laughs> when games just released full of stuff. Great content, and a lot of it was held away from you. Secret. Can you believe it? Developers that were like, we don't even want you to know for sure that there's some content in here. You get to find it as a surprise. Never mind. Uh, did you boys see All Tomorrows yet? It's good rat content. All Tomorrows? No, yeah, I've never I'm not heard of that. it. Never, never heard of it. Uh, I 100% agree. The presidency was stolen from Sir Jeb of House Bush. I'm three hours behind. <laughs> Hi, the future. Oh, this really is High the Future, huh? You're all the way back there in, uh, in 20... 2021, yeah, yeah. Uh, following up on Fringy's hot take on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon from the last Super Chat catch-up, here's mine. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorer's story is a three at best. Plot only runs because of characters making stupid decisions, absurd coincidences, people not talking to each other, and so much more. Oh, well, I haven't played that one. We're going to upset uh. the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fans. <laughs> There's a lot of them in chat. I can see them fuming already. Yeah, I, I never played it, so I, I got nothing. Skyward Sword has been redeemed in the new remake. Highly recommend to anyone with a Switch. Ryder is the world's best musician. Everyone should listen. Hope you all live rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you too. Um, was Skyward Sword actually fixed with the, the remake? I didn't even think it was a remake. I, I thought it was just a re-release or whatever. I thought it was a re-release. Yeah, I don't know. To be fair, I never even knew what the problems per se were with Skyward Sword, so I never played it. I just know it's the ugly duckling. Yeah. Poor duckling. Aren't coffee beans and tea leaves attested to be the main reason for the Renaissance across Europe because it replaced alcohol and its properties? I have no idea. I could not tell you. That's the first I've heard that. I do not know. The Dugly Uckling. Hmm. Interesting. The YouTuber Kraut was just in chat. Does he not like EFAP or something? He makes intre- wait, why would him being in chat- Why would he not? Yeah, I don't know. I- I know of him, but I don't know why, why he wouldn't like EFAP. Um, he makes interesting longman videos. I expected him to be pro EFAP, but he just retracted his messages and left. I- I just... couldn't possibly ascribe a reason to that. I- yeah, I, I had no idea that was, uh... Kraut, no, Kraut, uh, as in Kraut and T was the channel name at first, right? I think so, yeah. Kraut. Yeah, um, I ha I couldn't, if someone said, like, what do you think um, Hassan would have thought of EFAP before we had any interaction, I'd be like, he'll hate us. If you ask me what Kraut would think, I'd be like, I have no clue. No, no clue. clue. I, I hate EFAP so much, that's why I'm in chat. Shut up, Glidus. That's fair enough. Also, become more available and play uh, Gothic Film with us next time. We need more sprats, uh, sprats, sprats, uh, sprats. There you go. My brain got it. More sprats. Yeah. More sprats. Or even new Vegas. memes as powerful as sprat. Also, Mubjlington, you always say Longbone, but it's Longbong. I I know it was crazy. I was saying Longbone when it was Longbong for like a year. I don't even. I don't know my eyes. <laughs> Longman press. Brit Bong plus Velvety Aristocratic Downtown Abbey accent plus goddamn fucking massive equals Long Bong of Mutlington Abbey. That's very fair. Very fair. Um, KFC in Japan had an ad campaign decades ago that turned them into a Christmas tradition. You need reservations to go to KFC on Christmas in Japan. Well, if you do it really, if you do Kentucky Fried Chicken really well, 
and give that southern style food, uh, you know, if you do it really nicely, then I could see how it could absolutely become a Christmas tradition. Hell yeah. Have any of you seen Games Workshop's new rules regarding fan animations and their general mistreatment of the Warhammer community? No, I, d I don't know the rules specifically, but I just hear keep bad hearing things. about them like this, yeah. yeah. I'm just over three hours behind you guys, but I'm enjoying the constant ragging on Hassan. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot of it. A lot of it. It's almost like he's annoying the fuck out of people. Hmm. That'd be my guess. How did that happen? What? I don't know. That's what our investigation across three streams were. Three streams that I'm sure one day will be attributed to Jay. Damn you, Jay! Have any of you... Oh. Uh, 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 Sun Tzu, the fool, argues that Chad posts soy jacks. I don't remember that part in the Art of War. Well, I don't think it would be in the Art of War if it's jacks. saying Sun Tzu is the, is the fool. I don't think you would have written that, Sorry. but... Maybe it's it's uh, Hassan's book, The Art of uh, Nuggies. I don't know. Sun Tzu was wrong. Sun Tzu, <laughs> Sun Tzu didn't know what he was talking about. Can you cover the Nostalgia Critic video with Count Dankula again? Dude, why would we, he hated us for that? <laughs> it was yeah. hard for him. Okay, he struggled. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, because because he kept doing those transitions where he was like screaming or whatever or. or Doing some kind of thing, I don't know. I Yeah, if we have Dank on again, I think he was much happier covering Train to Busan, alright? So I think so too, yeah. We will find some of the movies. Dank to cover on a Gothic stream. Oh dude, yeah, Dank the on a Gothic stream would be good shit. Wait, do we need that? Hi Rags. Happen. Hi! And this next one says, Hi Rags. Oh, hello. Uh, this next one says, Hi Rags. Hi! Get Aiden on right now for Chris Chan. Why, we, we, how many times, I think when Gundam was on, I was like, we don't need to talk about Chris Chan. We really don't, yeah. We don't have to do this. Being a new EFAP listener and after getting familiar with you guys, I'm shocked by the amount of people that really hate you. Mostly rags, and I don't know why. Well, um, I feel like the Chud Logic stuff is the, some of the best examples of that. It's just a matter of information goes around, it's not challenged. Simple as that. Like, um, I don't know if you guys, if I mentioned this part, it's just so funny. When, when Chud Logic was asking his community for, like, evidence of the evil, um, and he started to conclude that he wasn't getting any evidence of evil, there was people in his chat saying, you've been had. Like, like, we're, apparently like. Apparently we're really sneaky about hiding the evil things yeah, like, that we do. Like, I tricked him, and I was just like, I don't have the capacity to do so. Like, I, it's all out there. Yeah, so, man, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Like, what was my plan? To be like, actually, I don't review movies at all. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't click my channel. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it's unfortunate, and I think we get a disproportionate amount of hate compared to what our claims, positions, and content is. Because, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I know it sounds a bit harsh, but, like, political streamers, I can kind of understand how they get to be so hated. Because, um, a lot of people take that... Politics. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all very serious. Um, but, I don't know, it's always felt like we get a little bit more... And we tend to try and go pretty chill on creators up until they, um... Let's say We they, often try to match the energy of the people that we're covering. I have felt that that is, that is something we try to do. Sometimes they say some stuff... I remember, um, it was the Cinema Wins, I think on Black Widow or something, where I was like... I had so lost my patience by the end. I couldn't take it anymore. It's hard. Okay. Sometimes it's hard. But, uh, I guess maybe that's why people get angry. Because it's like, Cinema Sins is such a golden child. How could you be so mean? It's like, hmm. Stuff like that. Uh, old Man Spurgeon. I don't know if that's his name or something, but fair enough. Old Man Spurgeon. Lupa is Rian's prequel to TLJ. I don't know how they connect at all, but sure. Uh, thoughts on the sci-fi book All Tomorrows? I have not read it. Uh, if I did, I would give you my opinion on it, but I don't actually have anything to tell you, unfortunately. Neither read it have I. 
Yeah. yeah. Sargon's wife for EFAB MCU retrospective. <laughs> Sargon's wife. She like <laughs> she particularly invested in the MCU at EFAB. I don't know. I had no clue. To be fair to Adam Friended, the Wonder Woman eighty four OST fucking slaps. Shit movie though. Does it? I I didn't notice when we watched it. Maybe I was too distracted. Yeah, I legit just don't quite remember. A centrist bomber. A plague on both your houses. Hey, I know uh, I know that reference. Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. Adam and Sitch and Spurgen have very aggressive, vigorous three-way disagreements. Very well. Wow, you guys are all uncultured peasants. Don't worry, Rags, I'll help you. <clears throat> Thank you. What's up, dog? Hey, uh, what's up, dog? They said in brackets, so you can complete the office joke that these heretics don't know. Alright, all right, then. I mean, yeah, I... I'm sorry, I'm not too familiar with the office, honestly. Hmm. Are we going for the up dog joke? It's like, oh, not what is much. up dog? How about you? That's what true. Is, What's up what dog? Is up, yeah. What is up dog? I don't know the context of the super chat, but that's my guess. Well, I don't know the. I don't remember the joke from the office. So, and I've I seen just it. know the. I just know the up dog thingy in general. Yes, that's the one everyone knows, I think. Anyway, uh, rags. Hi. Hi. What, what is this? What's M what? Marry, kill. It doesn't even. There's no. There's no fuck part to it. Just marry and kill. <laughs> Mola if he was black, Fringy if he was white, and Jay if he was kicked. What does any of this mean? I have no idea how to even begin to evaluate that sort of thing. Um. Did you know that bees and wasps are believed to be mimics of each other, but which one mimicked the other? I don't know. I guess it depends on what the oldest fossils we found maybe could be, or... What's I don't it know. say in the Bible? I don't know. Wow. Did I get it wrong? Uh, Vinnie Jones couldn't master a US accent, so was phased out and replaced by Statham, who basically owes his entire Hollywood career to Jones. Really? I, 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 it sounds interesting as an idea, because uh, I'm trying to think. How many times have we heard Jason Statham do a, an American accent? Does he do that often? Is he that in Transporter, or is he still British? I can't remember. I honestly do not know. I can't. Like, I'm trying to picture him doing an American accent, and like, it's always just his his normal accent, yeah. But um, I can see them sharing an archetype to a degree. It's just Vinnie Jones disappeared. Um, Hansel and Gretel... Witch Hunters equals peak cinema. I'm already... I, I am uh, definitely... I'm curious of that's seeing that. That's movies, for sure. Almost certainly. We need more of those. Yes. And it shouldn't be too long. Or we'll, we'll, we'll be freeing up Wednesdays. I imagine. Hmm. I wonder why that would be. Because I have no idea. hopefully almost done. Hell yeah, Adam. Michael Ironside as the villain, A-Team. Yeah, I like Michael Ironside playing a villain. I or, do too. Or um, a weed-growing conspiracy theorist who shockens aliens. Remember that? I do. How could I forget, Mahler? It's, it's, How could I forget? It's good fucking good content, you know? Nothing but. Premium content. Aiden, have you seen Gotham 1919 through 1939? She's no longer here. Aiden's here? Question for everyone. How many of the women guests have fallen asleep during EFAB? Jay included. You dumbos can be tiring. Play DDLC. I think, I think literally all of them. Um, Jay Longbone's never fallen asleep Jay on EFAB. Longbone, yeah. Jay Longbone is not the one. Yeah, she is currently the only non-sleeper. Yeah. I don't think, have we really only had like three women? We need more women. Gotta, gotta dig into the women yeah. files. I want to be able to look at women. Yes. I feel like we've had more than that, but I can't remember anymore. Um, mm. Chris Chan is not a woman. I know so little, and I'm happy to keep it that way after uh, 
after finding out bits and bobs, all right? That is a, a story that has been documented throughout the internet. I even get recommended, like, those sorts of videos, and I'm just like, I'm all right, after finding out where it goes. Um, I've had every Marvel movie spoiled for me still come out about the same as expected. But how would you know, though? Oh, oh, oh. You okay there, Metal? No. Oh, I'm still writing down this movie. I'm tired, but I have to do it now, otherwise I forget all the things tomorrow. I'm so sad. Oh, you have things to do. Look at me. I have things and stuff to do. Yeah. Bow down to my things. Uh, I remember Wolf talking about how the Chris Chan documentary was some of the best content on the internet. He was right. Everyone watch it. It's fascinating. I'm all right. <laughs> if, uh, you know what? If curiosity gets you, um, yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of a lot of different sources. Find out stuff about that. Uh, Wonder Woman 84's ending is post-raping Stockholm Syndrome. There's lots of disturbing interpretations. But hope, the truth is beautiful. So that truth, that one's pretty ugly. Uh, get Rikita Media on EFAP. He's got lots of opinions on modern and classic media, so it doesn't have to be lore-related. Well, yeah, but we probably want it to be lore related. I'd be curious what he thinks of movies that are yeah. doing lore and stuff. We're gonna get him. It's gonna happen. I, um, I had some fun with him on Open Bar. I told him he's gonna be on EFAB eventually. It's gonna happen. It's happening. You're talking about 2010's Woke Comics. I don't know what was happening at that point, but alrighty. I do not know. I do not know about comics i'm not i'm not the person to ask about comics and yeah people make so that mistake right all the time rags does come across as a comic legend of knowledge but nope not not nope, not, not me no super into him no must be another rags you're thinking of not this guy nick offman aka ron swanson is basically 75 percent of the character irl from what i've seen and read in his book he popped up in uh, fargo season two. Oh, he was also in devs that's a bad show. <laughs> That's a really bad show. I hated Devs. Well, Devs my, um, was downright frustrating. In the Metals Forge, uh, when we were getting done talking about Ex Machina being top-notch, I was like, mm. a lot of the what I consider to be genius subtleties of Ex Machina are now in question after having seen Annihilation and Devs, because the same <laughs> guy made them, and those things are fucking abhorrent compared, so it's like, hmm. But Ex Machina held up. Ex Machina is great. I, uh, yeah, because yeah, awesome. I remember really liking it. I really like Ex Machina. Annihilation. So he made Ex Machina, Annihilation, and Devs? He, as far as I'm aware, he wrote all of those. I'd have to check that. Uh, that's so bizarre. How do you make something as good as Ex Machina and then follow it up with the writing of those two shows? What's crazy, by the way, is uh, Annihilation is not only something he wrote, but it was uh, adapted from a book. But, like, oh. you know, you have benefits, let's say. Um compared to something, because I'm pretty sure Ex Machina was original. I think so. And then I think Devs was original as well. Um, I'd have to check all these things, but then it's just... <laughs> the guy who made Devs made Ex Machina. What the fuck? <laughs> Bizarre. If y'all want to feel bad about our timeline, look at what happens if TR won the 1912 election instead of Wilson. Does that sound familiar to you guys in terms of... That sounds like something that isn't just an easy Google answer. Yeah, I, I um, maybe this... Because oh, I was going to say... It was, uh, it was if Roosevelt had... Right, because it was Roosevelt went up against Woodrow Wilson and lost. Because he, he went and did his own party, right? Well, uh, is there anything you know that would have happened had... Uh, uh, I just know that Woodrow 1912? Wilson... 1912? I yeah. know that Woodrow Wilson is a particularly important and controversial U.S. president. He's the guy to the League America. of Nations, isn't he? Uh, I think so, because uh, he was he was president during that period. It was just that uh, it's kind of like the America that exists now is in part kicked off by uh, by him. He's pre I'm pretty sure that he's uh, World War a stuff. People, a lot of people don't like 
Oh, no, economic stuff more so than okay. anything else, from what I understand, but I'm not, I'm far from an expert on, on Yeah, that. I just don't know. I just, don't I just know, know that a lot of people don't like Woodrow Wilson. So, use the loot, we'll be right back. Ex Machina is not good. Wow. Uh, you're a liar. Okay, wrong. <laughs> Cruel. And incorrect and mean. Apparently Alex Garland also wrote 28 Days Later and Sunshine. I like both of them, so... There's more pluses in what the happened? column, I guess. Yeah, they're both... Uh, Devs and Annihilation are both newer than the other three examples, so... Archive. If you... If, you, that now. if you've got a handful of good and bad work, you probably want... the split to be that your modern stuff is the good stuff, because that means you can... Keep going, making good stuff, right? <laughs> um, look up Roland Emmerich's comments on how he made Godzilla 98. What he wanted to do, and his level of interest. Do his comments sound similar to Ryan making TLJ, or Michael Waldron making Loki? Um, I'm assuming he said he wanted to do his own thing. We'll subvert the audience. Uh. The thing, man, if uh, I was making a Godzilla film, we've talked about this so many times. It'd be like, I've seen barely any classic Godzilla, but if I'm making an American adaptation, I'd be like, best go watch the fucking originals. That makes sense to me. Um, is Hassan's Tendi's point argument ad attendium? Attendium? What's Tendi's in Latin? Do they have a word for in it? Latin? <laughs> <laughs> they there probably were Latin words for the different cuts of a chicken. I know a, a, a I don't know I don't know what a tendy would be in yeah in Latin. I just don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hassan what? is Veruca okay, Salt up. IRL. I know. From Willy Wonka. So let's see. Um, chicken tin. In Latin. Making me hungry. See, I could be reading out more super chats while you Googled that, and then you could tell us your results. It would have been genius. Well, maybe. Uh, this says here, Tenera Pulum, but I don't know if that, if the, if it's literally just because, like, tender. Yeah, if, if whether it's an adjective or a noun, like, I don't know if things were just. Tender, if they're just Tenera, perhaps. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get back to you on that later. Hassan is the type of person who would buy bottled water and pour it into the ocean to set it free. <laughs> 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 oh, that came from a spring. He wouldn't do that. He would be like, this is, I, this is mine. Fuck water, man. Yeah, and you'd say, like, water was drank by all kinds of horrible people. It's kept loads of horrible people alive. Me, for example. No, he would think he's a god. He's he would, a good man. He's never met you. Or good. Hitler. Oh, I oh, thought you were saying boss. me, for example, as though you were him. And it's just, this is too confusing now. Too many layers. No, I'm a bad person who drinks water. You I are just a bad person who drinks water, but that's, that's not, you know. It's, I don't hold it against you every day. Good. I sound the kind of guy to pay a street walker for a hug. Is that bad? I was going to say I wouldn't... You know, that sounds like interesting. Not, Feel bad for the person yeah, who does that, but I wouldn't think of them as a bad person or anything, or even an idiot. I'd just be like, they clearly, uh, they're having a rough time. That's my project right now. Is I bought a web, I bought one, I bought a, a trio of belts, and they have the little clasp on them. And so you put the clasp on, tighten it, and it sort of locks in place, essentially, but it's just too long, so I gotta use this knife and cut the back end of the belt so that it will be shorter. Because this belt is too big for my tum-tum. I think I'll use a, a, a flame. Maybe I'll use my a grill, and I will kind of fuse the this end so it doesn't, you know, have the frays that happen when you cut it. That's my little, my little project here. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Nice clean cut. Everyone, have a good knife. It's important to have a good knife around because you never know when you might need a good knife, when you might need to cut something open like a box or mm -hmm. you know, cut a knife. It's just always useful having a knife on you. Hassan's the kind of guy who would pull his pants down all the way just to fart. 
No. <gasps> Probably. Probably the guy, a guy who lays on his TV to watch his bed. <laughs> lays on the TV to watch his bed? Maybe. Coming out parties usually involve confetti. Confetti? Nice. Confetti? Yeah. Rags, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Your stories have given me the confidence and courage to come out to my parents as a gamer. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a really bold move. I was gonna say not necessarily one I recommend mm, for everyone, but that is definitely very a bold much move. depending on your parents, like this, this sort of culture you're in. Like gamers, you know, I I, I feel I need to say no more. Just watch the Green Knight. It was horrible. Oh. Yes, it was. I hated the Green Knight. It annoyed me immensely. I just got bored. The halfway yeah, point. I was waiting for more story, and then I got it, and I was like, okay. Uh -huh. Soul Hulk 2203 recently. Funny how today's garbage is so bad that yesterday's garbage is genuinely decent by comparison. I guess they mean 2003. Uh, I presume. No, it's, yeah, yeah. 2203, I, I think. Damn. Man. I'd like to see that Never version know. of Hulk. Yeah. yeah, I want to see what he's doing in 2203. What's he hulking around about? Maybe they have fixed him by then. They have the... They have they the medicine finally necessary figured it out, to yeah. make him better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but as for the Angry Hulk, uh, I haven't seen that in forevers. So, it's the uh, Angry Hulk. Yes. Don't eject that conversation. The fact that people have pedophilia and we don't send them to therapy because they're scared to admit it is genuinely awful. Shouldn't we try to help them away from this? Yet another topic that we are not covering. A-Team is white supreme. Wait a minute. White supreme? Is there a racial element to Adam's team? Is that... that sounds like Sitch is the better no. team. Well, Wouldn't that depends. Well, that, that depends. Has has Sitch decided if he's white or a Jew first? Did he ever oh, get back God. to Google shit on that? Oh, man. <laughs> that was a, that Dude, this was is a why, thing. Like, oh. th there should be something in your head that's like, wait a minute. If I say this, that's not good. <laughs> like, but nope, that wasn't in there. Hobbs, man. Ugh. We haven't covered him in a lot. I wonder what he's up to these days. Oh, he's probably got something worth covering, right? If he's got another Infinity War level analysis of a Marvel movie, that would be fun to check out. And I guess just so everyone's clear, that that was something that no bullshit asked Sitch. Essentially, yeah. does he consider himself white or a Jew first? That's not my that's not my quote. <laughs> Oh yeah, I cut that really well. I'm not even yeah. sure. Yeah, if you YouTube no bullshit, Sitch and Adam, you'll find that they did a stream. Um, Sitch losing his fucking mind trying to talk to him, and Adam, I think, doing his best to make no bullshit sound less insane. Which I wouldn't that recommend, the... by the way. Just let him, let him be him. That was the stream where he mentioned us. Yeah. How Jay streams with us. Which is bad because I am a known leftist, and you were. Oh, what did he say about you, Mahler? I forget. I don't remember what he said um, about me either. Um, I just know he said that I was a known leftist, yeah. which is interesting. Um. Hey, I saw Brie Larson doing cooking videos. Efab battle her versus Tonald. She already lost. Right. Over. I can even announce the idea. Tonald has deleted those videos, presumably, because they're too powerful for the internet. That's all I can assume. Unfortunate, but, um... I hope he's doing alright. I do hope he's doing A-OK. -okay. If you're out there, Tonald, come back. We love you. You mm -hmm. made legitimately excellent videos that were a joy to watch. You clearly have a passion for it, and we can see that in what you do. I would also like to say that thanks to that itch I had of playing Protoss randomly in StarCraft 2, I can 2v1 very hard level computers, and that's a big deal to me, because I'm not great at StarCraft, but I want to get better. So I'm very proud of myself for being able to do that. Free. Follow your itches, is the moral. My life for hire. Three of the last four streams, I shit you not, the last... 
Sorry, the first two minutes I listened to have Rags mentioning Hitler in some fashion. Speaking of that fashion, that mustache. Yeah. Never cared for it. Never really cared for the look. Uh, if I send a single question that's a series of 50 plus super chats, will you read them all and then answer the question since I want to explain a position I have and ask your stance on it? I mean... 50 plus super chats? I don't think that any thought you could possibly have Presumably, 50 super um, chats. If I read like four of the 50, I assume some point has been established at that, uh, that juncture and that we would comment on it and then I would continue as opposed to reading all 50 at once. In the same way that we could, like, do a video. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just It would be weird to me that you... At that point, you might be constructing, like, an essay. Um, yeah, that's. I don't know if that's the best format for Super Chance to exist in. And how to even organize that on our end is going to be not as simple as you might think. Yeah, because we've come across similar things in the Streamlab side. Where people can send longer messages for... Um, like, like, connected with, you know, the one out of whatever, and you just link them all up. Um, but we usually just pause at certain points to just talk about whatever's been said so far. Like, that's just how it usually goes. Nice, yeah, it's alright. Uh, Rags is the astronomo ast Astronomicon, Astronomicon, 40k reference, of EFAP. He is the holy light that ferries the chat through the dark, warp videos of YouTube. So, uh, I know enough to know that in 40k, the way that they, they, their explanation for, like, galactic travel is you have ships that travel through the Immaterium, which is like this second dimension thingy. Um, uh -huh. No, I would know. Th those are the navigators themselves. The Astronomicon is the, that's the beacon on Earth, or Terra, that allows for all the ships to navigate through the Immaterium, which enables interstellar travel. Because, like, every race has their own way of doing it. And the way that humans do it is they, like, go through the different dimension that's the warp. And they have these special people on ships that are linked with the their, the, their psychic people. And they can navigate through, you know, space and get ships where they need to go. And I think that Astronomicon is the the beacon on Earth that they kind of use to know where they are. Something along those lines. Um, yeah, it's like the Emperor is sending out this this signal that they can sense. Point being, if you are going to have a sci-fi universe, you need to explain how people get around. Because <laughs> it's very important. I agree. Uh, this one just says, I miss Ra. It's, uh, it's already gone all the way back then. Adam is so fucking high right now. Alright, well. <laughs> I don't know what it was regarding, but fair enough. Um, I think they're using like a special font, because usually I wouldn't expect this to get into a super chat, but they said, Hassan is a chalk-licking retard. He's, um... I never licked chalk, I don't think. I, don't think, I guess that's something like like eating crayons. I don't think I ever did that. You have sniff glue. You know? Yeah, sniffing glue, um, eating uh, crayons, and licking chalk. These are things like that just special children do. It makes them more special. Uh, Hassan in a video game like. Oh, <sighs> I see. They've 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 said K, K exclamation point. Like dash and then la uh, capital I, I think. Hassan in a video game, like he said, America deserved 9 11 in a video game. I guess that's how he tried to get out of it. Well, you just contextualize it as um, it was an event that they had caused through whatever policies and stuff, which is just not the same thing. Um, especially regarding who it happened to. I can't believe he managed to not get banned permanently for saying that. So. Amazing. And yet he got temp banned for um, the cracker thing. Which is a strange place. Uh, people keep misspelling snafu. It's spelled with two U's, you heretics. Well, it's alright. It sounds the same when I say it with both spellings, right? So, At least nobody's getting uh, misdirected through the audio. 
Uh, fuck, Mary kill Fringy's grandmother, Mola's grandmother, or Rags's grandmother. <laughs> I feel that they must really need an answer to that question, you know? Why else would they ask it? Hmm. How curious. How curious. Um... Bernie didn't lose the primaries because the moderates got behind Biden. Bernie was winning head-to-head -head polls against Biden for months between Iowa and South Carolina, after which two H2H polls flipped to favor Biden. Something happened at that point that made people switch. My explanation is a lot of voters want to be on the winner's team, and after SC, the media created the perception that Biden was the new frontrunner. All right, so anyway... The fucking next one is, do you know what Chris Chad did recently? Why is it that these get packaged together? <laughs> what's, what's the idea? What's going on? Um, overweight, lazy, lives off donations, bans loyal followers for petty nonsense, lives with mother. Hassan is basically the Turkish wings of redemption. To be fair, uh, Hassan's not overweight, is he? He's like really fit. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's overweight. He's um. Yeah. He's pretty uh like. Doesn't he go to the gym like every day? Something? I'm pretty sure he said multiple times that he works out like a lot. Well, um, yeah, you know, he's not quite got that um, element of Wings of Redemption. It's a shame that his most important muscle, uh, the brain, of course, is not getting a lot of exercise. Poor guy. Poor brain. Poor brain. Yes, I know the brain isn't a muscle, everyone. I'm just wearing a parallel for someone's a knee, a rank thing. Sorry if mine is so. In board the knowledge, it feels like a <laughs> Protagonist, Waller. Deuteragonist, Rags. Mentor, Wolf. Helper, Fringy. Redeemed villain, Jay. Oh, what does helper in a story? What does that mean? <laughs> like Babu Frick? I get, yeah, Fringy's like a guy that sort of is in his own area and we just, we, we are yeah. on our quest, we come across him and he gives us uh, potions maybe. No, no! He, he sticks his little head out of the cockpit. No, no! Oh. That could be cute, it could also be annoying as fuck. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Very cute. If Hassan comes over to visit, you gotta crawl around your house on hands and knees to make sure there's nothing he can injure himself with. Outlets, etc. Oh, like giving him like those helmets that people wear who aren't good at not hurting themselves? I don't know. I, I feel like he's he's getting injured no matter what. I'll uh, find some way to... He'll figure it out. Um, are you planning on playing all the LEGO games before LEGO Star Wars Saga comes out? Well, no, I didn't. But I did play the two Star Wars ones. And a bit of... Oh, yeah, I did complete the campaign for the LEGO Indiana Jones one as well. So. Are they any good? Which ones? The the classic ones? Indiana Jones. Uh, oh, games. well, I only played the one. Um, it was the original one, which, from what I hear, is like, not in the sense that it's bad, but it's the worst of the Indiana Jones ones. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I like it. He's Foon. Foon. Hassan and his fans. The revolution's not a phase, Mom. I'm gonna stream one day. Thousands of people will watch me. Just you see. And then she did. And, and she then made she nuggies. did. Everyone saw. It's all been downhill since. Oh, finally done. Fuck this. Are you planning on playing all? Oh wait, sorry. Uh, that's not true, Ferengi. I'm a galactic imperialist, and I like everyone on the panel. Even though I guarantee you, we would disagree politically on something. But I do think you're all good people at heart. Oh, well, that's nice. Why? Well, I, I don't even know what the context is for that. I'm sure you would have said something along the lines of uh, everyone fucking hates everyone here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> or maybe that you true. you said there's got to be there's got to be somebody who uh, I don't know maybe you said something like if they disagree with you politically they probably have a bias against you maybe that explains that response I do not know. Wow, I was first place. The blue shell came in and didn't go for me. Nice. Sometimes. X. I uh, even braked to be like, at least I can take someone with me, and then it didn't go after me. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's also that's a good certain, ending. Um, there's a certain point when the blue shell essentially locks onto a person, regardless yeah. of what place they're in now. 
Oh, Doesn't it? I, th I thought it was once it's sent out, it locks into the first person, first place person, and that is who it's going for, even if the yeah, positions change. No, no. I don't think so. Not in my experience. It goes for whoever's first um, at the time. Because I've had plenty of unlucky times where I take over the first place and I'm like, yay, yeah. and then I get hit by a blue shot. I'm like, fuck. Okay, yeah. okay. I just read that the Avengers drags and is cheesy. I want to die. Yeah, I, I see that a lot about Avengers, that it, it doesn't look uh, interesting enough, that there's no good cinematography in it, that it's pretty badly paced and that it's, it's too campy or too cheesy. Uh, when it's... I would go as far as saying easily the best of the Avengers movies. I don't really think it's up for debate. Yeah. The other well, ones will have you know the people we deal with. Wow. Like, like, wrong metal's people, right wrong there, people. dude. Yeah. What? What's happening? <laughs> We're talking about... Avengers. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Which do you... Yeah, which, Metal, which Avenger do you, Avengers movie do you think is the best? Oh, God. I haven't watched them in a while. Answer! I'm thinking about God damn it! I'm just oh, having brain flames. Fuck! I don't. I actually haven't seen the, the first Avengers in like ages. Is it Whedon came out. or is it Russo? <laughs> Answer! <laughs> no, I'm scared, Bob. All right. Babe, babe, babe. We, we ain't getting any answers. Sorry, All right, guys. Sorry, everyone. I need to we failed you. Them. I haven't, you. You I haven't fucking seen them failed any... you. Did, yeah. Which... Yeah. <sighs> Terrible. Hassan thinks he's smarter than everyone and wants to rule over the plebs. Lol, Aiden, 750 more pounds and you're describing Movie Bob to a T. Hey, I mean, oh! That's not Dude, even have like. Have you seen Movie Bob le lately? Like the tweets recently? Because the Roe v. Wade thing? He's going full scor scorched earth on Republicans aren't people. It's crazy listening to him. He's like a evil. I just like the you're like oh it's psycho. it's it's up from him saying he wants to wipe out all of the right wing or whatever. <laughs> it's gone up from there. You're like oh no. Give him that Thanos gauntlet in it. Give him that Thanos gauntlet in it. Well, that was that. that I, I don't think I sounded that Scottish, but all right. Mm. Stop reading super chats oh. and go back to politics. I, 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 yeah, no. Rather, rather not. But. Our politics are be a good person. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I think Wait, everyone claims that, that that's their politics, though. You know? Yeah. Well, of course, yeah, I'm but really... we're right. Yeah, yeah but correct. we're the right one. Yeah, that's the difference between us and them is that we're correct. They are the wrong thinkers. Yeah. One day they'll say things as they should be. One day. Uh, ah, what the hell? Might as well throw another one onto the pile. Biden lost, you stupid sheep. Sorry if Sleepy Joe comes after you now, Mola. Uh, <laughs> Sleepy Joe! God, I fucking love small font generator. Yeah, it lets you say anything you want in Super Chats. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it <does. laughs> what? Really? Small font generator. Yeah, That's the funny. YouTube can't understand those words or can't say no to them. Speaking of can't say things, uh... Uh, my most recent discovery of what you cannot say in Battlefield uh, 5, the most Ooh. oppressive in-game chat sensor I've ever seen, you cannot say killing or kill. So, uh, oh. kill that tank? It's just asterisks tank. Well, uh, why isn't anyone killing that plane? Why isn't anyone Because mm, you should be that saying plane? destroy the plane. That is a much more PC way to refer to it. It's very strange how in a game about killing... Uh, yeah, uh, you can't say like I, I, some of them I understand as stupid as they are, but come on, I can't say killing when I need to talk to my teammates to do things in this game about killing. Uh, it's no, bad. you cannot. It's not the strangest. The strangest is still hasn't. You can say has not. You you just can't say hasn't the contraction that is censored. I have no clue why. <laughs> Oh, it's obvious, right? Uh, whenever you use that word on EFAP, we get demonetized, so I've always known it oh, to be controversial. That is that is true. I probably shouldn't even say it. If we were dual streaming on Twitch right now, we'd probably get banned from Twitch because I said Why hey. do you think we're not on I mean, Twitch? I tried to get <laughs> EFAP on there and they said, are you, the, are you the hasn't guys? And I was like, whoa, is, you is can the say it? Guy on? 
like the 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 bird and the the mask they can come but that dog guy i don't know it's <laughs> he's, uh, the, he's the hasn't I mean, one yeah the germans I mean. okay but yeah Hello. I've, I've heard games server sense with the word Jewish. Yeah, yeah. I, I got banned from a Battlefield 4 server um, because this wasn't an in-game text. It was their server specifically. You couldn't say Jewish. And it came up in some random conversation that was happening in the chat thing. It's like, well, I've had friends who are who, who Jewish. I said, thinking that that's an okay thing. And, <laughs> but, oh, you fool. Having Jewish friends is not allowed on that server. <laughs> so I was instantly banned. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, hello, everyone listening to this on the EFAP 147 catch up stream. Did I name this correctly? What is this stream called? I don't know. <laughs> Ah. This uh, is let, oh let me click on it. This is the the one we're currently doing. I already checked. Yes, I did name it right. Sweet. Uh. EFAP Mini Kenobi trailer reaction super chat catch up. EFAP number one forty seven Hassan Piker versus JX. He really rolls off the tongue. <laughs> and then it says Adam, shut the fuck up. Damn. Yeah. Adam getting some hate toward the end of this. Take that bitch Mola to the zoo, Rags. I know you can do it. <laughs> oh. I'd go to a zoo with rags. That'd be fun. I uh, yeah, the the zoo is a fun place, and when you're at a fun place with fun people, it's just even more fun. Crazy. Um, I can't wait until every retard in chat uses this fucking awesome tool for getting around those pussy ass senses. Fuck you, Susan. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, <no. laughs> that was a super chat. That wasn't us saying that. I didn't say that, Susan, Susie. You. You're great. You're amazing. And I quote. <laughs> um, EFAP Mini for Buffy Season 1 when? Also, hi, Longman, Fluffy Dog, and Gooey Frogman. Hello. Uh, TBD? To be, no, T TBA, to be announced, right? No idea on the timeline for that. Um, hello, EFAP crew. I just finished watching EFAP 51, and I can say the amount of lore and memory is massive. Can't wait to catch up. Oh, yeah, and it just keeps piling on every stream. You never know what's going to get added. More. When we got the Nuggy update, we were just like, can, can the systems bear such an expense? The Nuggy update. Uh... Uh, looking up the painting, painting an allegory with Venus and Cupid, aka Venus, Cupid, Folly, and Time. Oh, they want us to look that up, but why? Venus, Cupid, Folly, and Time. Is it is it Hassan related or? <laughs> Venus, Cupid, <laughs> Folly, and Time. Uh, let me see. Venus, Cupid, Folly, and Time. It is. It is an allegorical painting of about 1545 by the Florentine paint or Florentine. I don't know which one. I've heard it both ways. Florentine, Florentine, a painter, Agnolo Bronzino. Uh, it is now in the National Gallery in London. Hey, that what? That's close to you, Mahler, right? London. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump down from the local pub where you live. Um, yeah, I can hop, skip, and jump pretty far. So yeah, I will. Sh I will post it here for us to see. Uh, in the chat, this is Venus Cupid Folly in Time. It is a lovely painting. Mm. Quite titillating. I love the expression of the man on the top right. Have we we have many. Is there anything there that can link to Hassan and Nuggies in any way? Does it make any sense? <laughs> well, um, let me read this here. Uh, let's see. So, about 1546, Bronzino was commissioned to create a painting that has come to be known as Venus Cupid Folly in Time. It displays the ambivalence, eroticism, and obscure imagery that are characteristic of the Mannerist period and of Bronzino's master, Pontorno. Crowded into the claustrophobic foreground of the painting are several figures whose identities have been the subject of extensive scholarly debate. The themes of the painting appear to be lust, deceit, and jealousy. At times, it has also been called a triumph of Venus. Its meaning, however, remains elusive. Cupid, along with his mother, Venus, and the nude Puto to the right, are all posed in a typical mannerist figura serpentinata form. Sweet. I love I love his expression, the the at the top right, and, and the guy on the, the middle left who's just like that's that's just us when we're when we're listening <laughs> to this time. 
Very lovely. Uh, Very it's, lovely. It's July 31st. I wonder when this will be read out. Well, <laughs> uh, the 4th of May 2022. So, may the 4th be with you. Yeah. No. Uh, I'll put two dollars that it's read out on August 5th. <laughs> well, 5th? May? Is, oh. I mean, there what is... year? Which year? Yeah, what? Yeah, you didn't no. specify. <laughs> if they'd said a year, then yeah, it would be more impressive. Uh, abolish voting age? I mean, people voted for Hillary and Biden. I guess letting literal drooling infants vote wouldn't be much of a downgrade. Oh, I remember when Adam suggested that. That was an interesting thing that was suggested. Oh, Adam, what Adam the, can what have that opinion <laughs> if he wants to have that. Did we get to clarify? Does he think the baby should be able to vote? I don't. What does that even mean? They they, they go. <laughs> they loud, put a hand on a page. Baby True. Baby in line at the I just. It, it would just be a series of Stewies <laughs> being like. Yes, well, I appreciate the. Uh, the, the, the policies <laughs> being highlighted here, but I just don't think they're going to come through on their promises. I'm not, sure. I'm, not, I'm not sure about the fiscal policy. It's just it's it's a little irksome to me. It's I, I don't know that we have the money to spend. Irksome. But then again, this foreign policy is all over the place. Uh, it's been a bit hawkish in the last <laughs> in the past. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> If you can fight as a child soldier, you should be able to vote. I think there's a validity to that. If you're old enough to be drafted, you should be old enough to vote, yeah. Yes, if the voting yeah. age is such that, for, let's say, hypothetically, let's say the voting age was 21, but you could be drafted at 18 and fight in a war, then there should at least be, like, it wouldn't be unreasonable for them to say a special exemption to people who fight that they can vote, right? I think Whereas maybe fair, a typical 18-year-old, yeah. 18 -year just as an example, but yeah, there's a, there's definitely an element on, because you have the, there's an aspect of people who participate in a society and should be able to shape in some way its voting process. We have to draw the line somewhere, right? Because everyone in a society is a participant in it to some degree. Where is that line of you are now, like, we, we have to call it somewhere. Uh, so for a lot of things, you know, it's, you know, 18 to vote and 16 to drive and 21 to drink as at least the laws over here. Um, I mean, there's, uh, it's almost highlighted, but originally a date April 4th in the, in the description. That's just a leftover from a previous description. I will fix that on the Moolah upload. Do not worry. Thank you for, uh, let me know though. It shall be fixed. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash now. I'm really fucking tired. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Good night, Boodle. I'll, I'll catch you all around. Why? Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'll see you. See you later. Have yeah. a good one. Toodaloo. See ya. Bye. 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 Yeah, bye. Hey, bye. Goodbye. Mm. Bye. Bye. There he goes again. So this is the this set of three you got. Fuck whoever super chatted that. And I think they're referring to what is ordered wrong here, and it says, move on, please. So, it's like, move on. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're just sitting here having a chap's diary. Uh, Adam, shut the hell up. Damn. <laughs> at Adam. commentary in the super chest. <laughs> th this is at Adam. You win the argument. Everyone concedes. Now shut the fuck up and let's move the fuck on. Oh my god. Wow. Hashtag kick Adam. Repeal the 19th Amendment. Hail rags. God, I can't, re I can't remember what happened, but Adam uh, definitely did not have a popular position. Which doesn't surprise me, reminding me now of the uh, everyone can vote yeah. meme. Yeah. Yeah, not, uh, not too big into that one. I've decided I'm S class. Yeah, because that's the sitch one, right? Uh... It's not smartness for age, it's wisdom. That's the reason for age cutoffs. Wise comes with age, intelligence is not the reason wisdom, period. Um, I don't know that wisdom necessarily comes with age. I think I, wisdom comes with experience more so than just getting older, right? Yeah, and I'm sure everyone would agree there are people who are old enough to vote that are not fucking wise at all. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, wisdom is definitely a special thing not, that not everyone... Well, 
Wisdom is not something that you just get by default because you've existed for a long time. That's just not the case. You could have someone who's 20 who's incredibly wise yeah, okay. because of their life experiences and someone who's 50 who doesn't know anything. The broad understanding is just they want you to not vote until you have the capacity to understand what you're voting for. That's basically it. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. You can be wrong in who you're voting for in terms of, like, you, you can make your decision... You can actually misunderstand your own principles, you know? Yeah, like, it, it has to be... It can't be that you literally are like, wait, what's the difference between the red one and the blue one? I don't understand. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> or should vote. I like blue. <laughs> I, I like blue. Red. That's my favorite color. Um... I contend anyone in favor of 14-year-olds voting has never raised a child. Teenagers are actually dumb. It's a universal scientific fact. Um, I, I wouldn't even question the 14-year-old part. I would just go all the way down to, like, where are you drawing the line? If it's, a, like, 5-year-old or something, I'd be like, you're insane. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, wow, yeah, thank you. We wouldn't even yeah. talk about 14-year-olds. Just, yeah. I can't remember if he actually said all ages. Ever been meaningfully entertained, and by meaningfully, still not much is 16. That's the only one I've ever heard that's like been ever really entertained, mm. and even then, not a lot. Yeah, uh, and um, we have finished EFAP 147's super chats, and we're at wow. like four hours and ten minutes, so I think. Yeah. We're gonna draw it to a close there, and the ones that have been sent in today, they will be first uh, next Wednesday. If um, you thought that you were gonna have your super chat read on a super chat catch-up stream, oh, <laughs> woe to ye, woe to ye. Oh well, yeah, because see, we're just talking about wisdom. You should. Oh, oh. It's funny. Foolish. I can see Zach has said a couple of today, but like, I wonder if he's like thankful I've just read out probably like 15 of his from that stream <laughs> which was sent like a year ago we did it we we finally caught up with those ones so uh yeah I'm, yay everyone all right which by the way uh I think that went really fast because most of it was just insults to Hassan and Adam you know which <laughs> <laughs> no much to be done with that um <laughs> so we're happy to read those out all day. Yeah, um, I, I, I mean, so what's what's going on? We got Doctor Strange this Saturday. So if you can, uh, or not if you can, actually, if you want to and can, you're going to want to see the film before then if you want to be able to watch the episode, unless you couldn't give less of a fuck about spoilers, in which case we'll give you all the context and uh, break down the bloom flams of um, the movie. Following week, we're gonna break down the six episodes of Moon Knight. Moon Knight. The following week, we're gonna break down. Is it nine episodes of Halo? Yeah. Fucking hell. We that'll be that'll be that'll be Fringy's second lead on that one. All right, it's your uh, nightmare. Yeah, I'll do the other two, and yeah. then <laughs> uh, the week after that may very well be a meme fab because I think by then that we will have caught up with the super chats. We've currently got. Three super chat catch-ups done in in the background, so it, it's not today, but there will be a day, everyone, where I will say, and that's us caught up on all super chats. I said it once, like two years ago. It, there was there was a time where we finally caught up, but we um we got pushed forward uh, well back because I because I think it was the Snyder Cut era uh, that pushed me all the way back because I tried to get that video out as soon as possible, and so we couldn't catch up. But yes, we're getting there. Um. Other than that, we've got we got we got something special coming this Friday, right? 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 Uh, I yeah. Wait, is am I actually mixing it up or it's? <laughs> I just I'm say your video, woohoo! Right? Well, um, this Friday for most of you it'll be Thursday. Avengers oh. Endgame is terrible. It'll be out tomorrow. Well, uh, what time would it be out for uh, British people? I guess then. Uh, so it will be out in about 21 hours. So, yeah, that's Anyone. the time. Okay, because uh, I'm tired. What, 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 where is it from normal EFAP time? Uh, it's about two hours after normal EFAP time. Oh, okay. There so you go, everybody. 9 p.m. So, yeah. And that's it's, uh, on people's Thursdays, typically. Most people's Thursdays. Right. It's my Friday, though. That's why I said Friday. But yes, it is coming out tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it. Well, there you go, yeah. It's, is that uh, is that being premiered? Uh, I haven't decided yet. We'll probably just go up. It's a long one. 
Um, yeah, well, well, whatever you want. Anyway. Yeah. I was gonna say we but premiered the fucking uh, the the night hour Boba Fett that's, mini. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but it's uh yeah, it'll be out tomorrow. Sweet. I am still working away on a on the script for the new video. Um, however, Kenobi will be out in what three weeks? I think three weeks. Yeah. Which will be I will be switching gears to account. Like I'll be working on them presumably with Fringy if he is on board. We will Probably, be getting yeah. you EFAT mini coverage of Kenobi. Same exact situation as Boba Fett. I believe they're hour-long episodes, six apiece, or six for the season, rather. Um, but you'll be getting that. Uh, probably no EFAP episode for, for, for Kenobi at that point. There wouldn't be a need. Um, yeah, and I can't think of anything else to announce other than uh, I'm trying to drop Super Chat catch-ups one per week at most. I don't want to like, shove loads of these in your faces. It'll space them out. But when we run out of the ability to catch up, because we've we've caught up, what you can expect is either no stream, because we'll be recording EFAP movies, or uh, EFAP gaming. I would like us to do a couple of them if possible. Absolutely. It has been a long time coming. We need to we need to do some. We need to do just, some. Yeah, we just we got obligations to catch up with these messages, and then we've, 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 it's, been, it's been going much faster recently, which is uh, going good. So that's... Yeah. Pretty much all the updates I can think of, unless, uh, is there anything else you guys wanted to say? Oh, there's always of. things that I want to say, but can we? Can we? Are they ready? I think not. Not yet. But one day, they will be ready. I see. What a glorious day that will be. Um, well, all right then. Uh, yeah. Bye, everyone. Good night. Thank bye. you so much for hanging out. Yeah. Good. Goodbye, Good, everybody. For, for donations. Like I said, we'll, we'll read these ones first on next Wednesday. Sorry for the, the delays, but uh, eventually everything should be just up to real time again. So, um, but yeah. Whoopee. Thank you so much. Real time. We'll see you then, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.